I don't remember our intro. It's been a while. But I think <laughs> it's Welcome Back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. And except when we don't post videos. <laughs> what are we playing today? No, that's not it. Well, we're going to do it that way anyway now. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Who are you? I'm Minx. And I'm Chrism, if you're new here. Hello. What are we playing today? I don't know. They can read, probably. This is Work Day, a <laughs> labyrinth named School. Um, this is voted on as a long play on our Patreon, so thank you, patrons. If you want to get involved, consider pledging yourselves. Link in the description. Very quickly before we start this, I want to preface this. So last time I played this, apparently in 2014, which was ages ago, um, uh, we played this on easy, and we could, that meant we couldn't get the true ending. I'm going to attempt to get the true ending on this playthrough, but I'm going to play on normal difficulty. That means there won't, some of the optional ghosts are not there. They're only there on hard and nightmare, the, the, the extra ghosts, unfortunately. Um, so don't expect to see too many new ghosts. I'll, I'll have a look around, see if we come across any, because some are in it, but, um... A lot of the extra ghosts are only on Hard and Nightmare, but we are going to attempt to get the true ending. If we fuck it up, and this just ends up being a normal playthrough of White Day, I'm very sorry. But we'll do our best. Alright? Okay, baby? Okay. Let's play. I just realized we didn't need all that, because by the time it comes up, it's already going to be in Van Window video, so you're going to know whether this is a, 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 a true ending or not. That's true. Oh my god. I just wanted to give her a little gift along with her lost diary. Look at him graphics. You know, I mean, but it actually is such a glow up from the original. The original version of this looked and ran like garbage. But I was being consumed by the school. <laughs> Fritz is very upset, guys, we're sorry. I think you're used to her boost by now anyway, guys. Are you ready to have a look around? Run and crouch. Run, LB, and crouch as X. You'll be less likely to be discovered by the janitor. But the janitor's probably a numpkin, right, Bebby? He isn't going to be the bane of my fucking existence for the entire game, slowly driving me to the point of insanity as he takes over everything and constantly harasses us to the point we can't do anything because he's always on our ass the entire game. Sure. I'm not bitter, by the way, or anything. Sure, that's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, this is limited saves, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> uh, only on normal, actually, uh, and higher. It doesn't on easy. But um, we're playing on normal because we get the true ending. It's gonna be fun, huh? <laughs> we're not. Oh, we actually are a real person. Holy shit! Look at us. That never happens. I mean, a lot of the time it doesn't, right? A lot of the time they don't bother coding reflections. Hmm. I'm just looking around a bit, getting items and supplies, because we're going to need money to use vending machines to buy heals as well. Spooky dookie. Oh, another he another save? We've got two save things so far. Hello? Hello, dude. What is this? A tissue vending machine? <laughs> I know what they use that for. Mopping things up. Like mops. You'll find different documents throughout the school. They contain various school secrets and tips, and I forgot how to read there temporarily. <laughs> Alright, that's where you save, at the bulletin board. This is a notice from the student body. If you haven't received the school magazine, please pick up your copy at Junior Home Room 6. New and transfer students are especially encouraged to get a copy as it contains information about the school and a school map. Wow, we need that baby numkin. SMS provides good guidance for beginners. You won't receive any text on normal level or above. Well, I just got a text and I'm on normal. Oh, out of service. There you go. 
That's quite a nice touch, actually. <laughs> As of March 9th, the installation of a light fixture next to the workshop is scheduled to be completed by tomorrow. Please make sure to tidy up all tools and ladders after their use. The wiring of the workshop is currently under repair. To workers, please do not close the steam valve or the of the ventilation window. Baby, I think that might be a clue. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. What are you doing? My phone fell. How dare you. I mean... It's not my fault, my phone was just being rude. There must be sufficient light to acquire items. But if you have the light on, the janitor can see you too. Byung take him? Because of you, the chemical solvent was taken from me by the teacher. I think he's mad about the time you were fooling around and spilled it all over the garden and killed the trees. What? Okay, okay. Don't what are worry you doing? about it. It just <laughs> fell again. The the holder for it is not on right. So okay. I'm just gonna lay it on its side. That's a good idea. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? I have chemistry class tomorrow. You have to take care of this. You can either go and beg him, or if you want chicken, go get it yourself from the gym storage room safe. By the way, the kids say that he's very forgetful, so he hides their medals he's won in the storage room and uses them as the passcode for the safe. Okay. Did you did you watch me play this, like, the original, original version? Yeah. God, that was so broken. Yeah, the only reason you won is because you broke the janitor underneath the stairs. Yeah, I got him stuck under the stairs. There's also, there was also a glitch where if you run in the final area when there's the two janitors, if you ran into the certain room, he would run into the wall and vanish. <laughs> that I exploited the fuck out of. Constantly. School magazine. Oh, isn't that nice? You can see the current location of the structure of the school by using the map. The map- the area marked in red means you've never visited the site. Do I have a map? Oh, I do. Isn't that nice? Mm. It's not nice? I mean, none of- n this is not going to be a nice night. I don't know what you're or talking about. I can't remember if it if it's a if it's a long period situation. It takes place over one night, yeah. Yeah. I but... don't know. Some of these are just like, oh yeah, we've been here for a month. <laughs> and it's just always nighttime. <laughs> and then you have to wonder, how do you know you've been here a month if it's always nighttime? I always wondered how the characters in Courts Party survive without sustenance for as long <laughs> as they're in the fucking building. I mean that is also did you hear that? I mean, I scooted forward in my chair. It sounded like someone was banging on the window and I'm a bit concerned. Probably nothing though, right? Oh yeah. Okay. You go near a door, a circular icon will pop up, you press A to open the door. Well, these are all locked. This is unacceptable. So where is the missing locked door key, Baby Numkin? We don't have it. This is rude. Oh no, something's going on. I think there's someone else in the school. I mean, wouldn't that be normal? Paper crane. A crane made with black origami paper. <gasps> Baby, it's the origami killer from Heavy Rain. Oh god. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't do anything with this, Bubba Numkin. What is going on? You need context. Oh, hello. So the ending mm. is entirely dependent on the dialogue choices oh, you make. Yeah. I wonder how we can do it. <gasps> oh my. You totally startled me just then. Uh, sorry, I didn't know you guys were here. Oh, I've seen him. He's a new transfer student. Hmm, really? Anyway, I'm leaving. See ya. Goodbye. I'm Sanga Kim, homeroom 8. I'm Heeman Lee. Hmm. This was out of the blue. But it's nice to meet you. So, why did you come to school at this hour? Uh, I left something here. 
Yeah? I'm glad that you're here. You are going to help me out. Uh, okay. What am I going to help you with? Mm, just something. Follow me. That was all the dialogue for the true ending. What we were gonna do. Goodness, a guy like you showed up. Is it really just from that? Yeah, I mean, not all of it. There's a lot of dialogue. But it's all down to the decisions and dialogue you make that affect the ending. But if you if you choose like normal responses as well, you'll always get like the bad ending. Like I don't think I've ever seen this cutscene before in any run. <laughs> No, well, I don't think. First time in the girls' bathroom? No, I was in here earlier, actually. <laughs> okay, what kind of help do you need in here? Why? Worried I want something weird? I left my book in the home ec room. I can't get in because it's locked. I happen to know that the keys are in the auto shop classroom, but it's locked as well. But you... Can crawl through that vent up there and get me the keys. All right. Thank you. I knew that you'd help. Hmm. We'll need a ladder, and we'll also need some sort of cutting tool. Why don't you look around? Okay, I've played this game a lot, right? And I have never seen that cutscene before in my life, which means I never picked that dialogue. Ever. I've, no I've seen that cutscene before. I, I, normally you have to go through the vent because the fire alarm's going off, rather than because of her asking you to, if you don't have that route. Mm. The cat is looking for her baby cat. Okay. G good for her, I guess? Question mark? Well, here's the cutting tools and the ladder. Got a drinks machine too. I'm not going to buy anything at the moment. Lighting repair work in the first floor of the main building. The workshop soaring will be a larger job than anticipated. The repair calls for more extensive construction work. Removal of the ventilation connecting the workshop. Home economics room and the bathrooms will be necessary. Okay. I didn't need to answer that. So don't worry. That puts you on a different route. <laughs> do, 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 do. I have a no key ladder, baby. Why are we holding it like this, by the way? I don't know. But I would have thought you'd close it up and then hold it under your arm or something. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Also, I wouldn't really call that a ladder. I'd call that like a a step ladder, which I I know might sound like a a stupid uh, like difference, but when I think ladder, I think something very tall. I mean, I'm not sure I'd agree with you there, but like at the same time, I'm just still disturbed by the way he carries it. He carries it like a psychopath, if I'm honest with you. All right. I don't think our characters are there. I almost want to call it a step stool, but it's not really a stool, is it? Oh, hello there. Speaking of people that are not all there. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to running from him for days. As it always happens in this. Okay. He's fine. Nothing wrong. Don't question it. <laughs> it's just the school's new punishment routine, right? What is Some this fucking dang and romper? Well, they don't if you're using a controller, apparently. Because <laughs> it just did it. We need to turn off all the valves, baby. Why? 
Can I just say something as well? No, because you didn't answer me. What did you say? I why? said why. <laughs> oh, because um, we don't want to get burnt. Why would we want to get burned by these buntings? Look at them. Hmm. Look at the grumpy faces they have. Hmm. Anyway, what were you saying? I can't remember. <laughs> oh god, I, I do remember this. Probably should have saved before going in here. Because I can't remember what to do. Well, this is the fire alarm you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, great. I'm assuming we need to light all of them somehow. But I don't know how. Are you sure it's not turn them all off? Oh, maybe. No. You're wrong. <laughs> I said it. Oh. Oh, you did that it work? By, you did it by accident. I did it by accident. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You got the key and you got the thing. And we didn't get burned alive. Huzzah! The pre-existing wiring is twisted. The metal walls are seriously corroded. It will take a few days to fix this mess. The cause of the corrosion is unknown. If the corrosion leads to an overload, thus triggering the alarm to go off, it can be shut down by temporarily by connecting the third and fourth sockets. I was meant to read that. <laughs> <laughs> metal token and the home economics classroom key. What is this? It's not a very good maintained shop, is it? No. Oh. Oh, that's how you make a key. Ah. I think. Or make something, anyway. The door is not opening, Bebby. What do we do? Open the other door? Oh. Huh. Not bad. Thanks a lot. Is she flirting with us? <laughs> the school seems dangerous. I think the janitor's crazy, too. Trying to scare me, are you? I'm not that gullible. Oh, but did you know? This school used to be a hospital during the Korean War. Rumor has it the whole school is haunted because so many people died here during that time. Maybe the rumor's true. I mean, especially on a night like this. Oh! <laughs> Did I scare you? I guess you don't like ghost stories, huh? <laughs> 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 oh, the doors are probably all locked by now. They lock all the doors after 10. Except for the lecture hall lobby, that is. If we want to leave, we have to go to the lecture hall. You know the new building, lecture hall, and here are all connected, right? Here. This is the key to that hallway there. Could you open it on your way out? Go ahead. I still have something to do. Wouldn't you just insist that you'd seen someone just get killed? <laughs> and be like, listen, look. I mean, at this point, I'd probably just leave. I'm what? not even sure why we came. Like, why couldn't we have just, like, given it, like, gotten there super early? I d yeah, I don't on know. On a school day. I don't remember ever playing this on PC either. I'm sure I played this on PlayStation you, last you time. You have definitely played this on PC. Well, regardless, <laughs> I'm going to save in the first slot, I guess. That was a long time ago, baby. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you ready for janitor funsies? No. Because I'm not really, to be honest with you. <laughs> Well, I think he's already coming. <laughs> Sorry, that running animation's great. I mean, I thought you were going to... Sounds like a Muppet. We were talking about this the other day.
All right, so this is Ji Hyun, this character. I think. <gasps> oh, that was close. If you sneak in at night, the janitor is psychotically angry. <laughs> That's a catches fucking you, understatement. The punishment is harsh. Punished? Is that what you you call punishment? What do you mean? Um. Anyway, he's nice in the daytime. You're the transfer student. I'm in your homeroom. Remember? Yeah, you were with So Young earlier today, right? You know So Young? Well, I guess everybody knows her, actually. I'm Jihon Sol. You're Human Lee, right? Anyway, what are you doing here at this hour? I'm just running some errands. I think you're incredibly brave. All alone this late. Are they all flirting with us? Of course. Tell this me something. what happens. I always see you alone. Don't you have friends? I've got you. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's right. But you'll make more soon. Okay, I'm going to go now. Be careful. Janitor, they will chase you if you find you as a patrol. Be careful when you turn the light or run because the chance of getting caught with the janitor will increase. In difficulty level below normal, you can check the state of the janitor with the eye shaped icon. Well, we can't, so. It was there for a second. <laughs> yeah. We have a lighter, which we're going to need. To see in the dark, Bebe Nomkin. We do we need fuel for it? No, I don't think okay. so. Not on normal, you don't at least. Okay, we need a key for the desk here that we don't have, and a key for all these that we don't have. He's wandering around outside. I don't like all the sounds here. I mean. It's meant to be spooky. I mean, it's a horror game, yes. Oh no. You just got yourself caught. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to say, can it not close? Are we stuck here forever? <laughs> that would have sucked. Yeah. Facility maintenance request slip. There's a creaking noise coming from the third floor hallway in front of the music room. That's the ghost, the head thing. We suspect the floorboards are worn out. There's a risk of completely coming completely loose, endangering the students. It is urgent the board is repaired as quickly as possible. That thing's gonna piss me off later on as well. That thing's nasty. Mm -hmm. Although, I think the thing I hate the most in this is the thing that hangs on the roof and waits for you in rooms. You know what I mean? Oh, I vaguely remember. Do we have this? I think we do. Totally normal lock for the skull. <laughs> Alright, we need another one to get through there. But we've unlocked this to get to multiple floors. This is the best place to chase the janitor chase you, remember? Because you can run up to the top, then drop down the floor. And he'll be like, oh, which way did they go? It's impossible. <laughs> In a papilla voice, it's, it's very strange, actually, that he does the papilla voice, I will say that. <laughs> so if we hear a sound like nails on the chalkboard, you got to panic, all right? Mm. A woman locked in the closet. Taehoon was serving detention again. He was made to write an essay to apologize for beating someone up that afternoon. The real problem Taehoon had was he was the only one punished. He suspected the boy he fought with was from a wealthy family. Taehyun knew the facility coordinator was corrupt enough to take bribes. Unlucky day, he thought. His arm felt like it was going to fall off from all the writing he did. To top it off, he was also hurt from the fight. The other student couldn't beat him fair and square, so he grabbed a broom and swung it at Taehyun. It was at that moment that Taehyun had just taken away the broom and the faculty coordinator showed up. Because of that, Taehyun ended up getting beaten even more. Thinking about everything that happened made him angry again. He tried to calm himself down 
and was determined to beat up the boy as soon as he came to school tomorrow. Suddenly he heard a clattering sound in the closet behind him. It sounded like a mouse was trapped inside. Since the building was very old, it wasn't rare to find a mouse in the school. He tried to ignore it and concentrate on writing his essay, but the clattered sound continued. Already agitated, Taehoon violently threw away open the closet doors. What he found was not a mouse. There were rumours that a ghost head had been seen flying out of the closet. There were rumours that male students had been found inside the closet with their bodies crushed and mangled. The teachers tried to contain it, but the story spread like wildfire. According to rumours, the school was used as a concentration camp for political prisoners during the occupation. Many people died here after being tortured with the dishonour of being labelled traitors. One of these tortured souls included the woman who was arrested on behalf of her husband who dodged conscription during the war. She was tortured viciously to reveal the whereabouts of her husband but kept her silence. In the end, they locked her up in a specifically designed closet where she could neither lie nor sit. She died slowly, in agony, without being able to move. It was after the war ended the corpse was recovered. It said they had the difficulty putting her body in a coffin because her neck and knees were bent stiffly at odd angles. Students believe that her ghost still wanders around in the walls of the school. It said that if you open a closet at night, she will stick out her twisted neck to claim her next victim. I'm pretty sure you can find this one on normal. I... <laughs> yes? Never mind, it's fine. I just don't understand the point of making a story and then filling it in with the exposition of the lore. Oh. I think you should have chose one or the other. Not both. <laughs> Fair. A bloody workbook with bloody marks. Great. Oh, another doodle. Or at least, like, finished the story and then did the exposition. Because it didn't say what was in the closet. Uh, one thing I am a bit like, if the, okay, we're in Korea and we're Korean, mm -hmm. why are we calling it the Korean War? Do Korean people call the Korean War the Korean War or do they call it, like, the war or the civil war or what? Well, was it a civil war? I mean, I guess technic. I don't know, actually. I don't know if it counts as one. I mean, it was Koreans fighting Koreans, right? But just, like, divided by North and South. But I don't know I don't know how that's culturally viewed in Korea, so I guess I should shut the fuck up. Because <laughs> I have no idea. What the fuck is that? But I don't know. <laughs> I can't open any of these doors here. Oh, I can. This is her homeroom. Oh, okay, this is where we're meant to be going this whole time. I just realized, okay. But we haven't got the key. Maybe I hate this. Listen, it's fine. You know what I remember from the original playthrough of this? Mm -hmm. I remember the enemies laughing and it sounding like, ha ha ha, wipe out! <laughs> That's all I remember. I just remember you making that obnoxious joke over and over and over and over again. Listen, it was hilarious. It wasn't. Anyway, as I was saying before, and as I need to correct myself because I had a total brain fart, the Civil War and the Revolutionary War are two different things. The Revolutionary War is what happened when the Brits came over and were trying to make America not be its own thing. And then the Civil War was the North and South of the same country. But the thing is... I don't know enough about the history of, like, the Korean War and Korea in general to know if North and South Korea were North and South Korea at the time of the war. I'm not sure. So either. I don't know if they were still two different countries at the time or if they were the same country and then that's what split it. Fair. I don't know. But that's basically what I was saying. Like, the Revolutionary War is called that is because even though America was part of Britain at the time, because it was whatever, it was for independence. So I wouldn't know if they would classify it as that, or if it was a civil war because it was the same. I don't know. <laughs> I... Forgive my brain fart, I am an old lady. I have grey hairs now. Oh, heck! The clo- <laughs> The ghost closed the door on me and took the coin! Well, here's the thing. You shouldn't be going in all the bathroom stalls. That's just rude. Other people need to pee too. 
I'm hearing some really weird noises. I just hear some whoosh. This is a haunted toilet. So? It was here first. It could be the fan, I guess. I vaguely remember being chased by the janitor here a lot. I'm not gonna save yet. Look, Mr. Sloan, I've temporarily locked the second floor lobby's door because some of the kids are sneaking into the auditorium passageway that's been shut down. If you need the key, you can find it in the key box at the main office. I left the password inside the toolbox that we always use. Well, we're at a dead end up here at the moment. What are we doing here? Oh, looking inside the bin. Oh, an actual school coin. Oh, and something here? It's a weird looking tree. What the fuck? Who calls that a tree? All these doors were locked, I think. It's raining. What was your war about? Um, religion, really. Well, I mean, mo pretty much every single one of your wars was about religion. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the people, like, people were sick of the king deciding everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I guess I need the key? I can't do anything with this. Alright, so. There's something we missed in the broadcasting room. Mm-hmm. And we can't get into any of those rooms or through that door over there, but we can go back downstairs and explore the whole ground floor, which we haven't done yet. Surprised the janitor hasn't come up here yet. You see, you said that, and now he's gonna be up your bum. You should know better than that. But Where would he be up my bum? He literally just came as you said that. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Did you hear him running? Okay, which room is the broadcasting room? Does this count as the broadcasting room? I don't think so, right? Yes, it is, apparently. Oh, because the lockers are locked, though, in here, so we can't actually go through them yet. So that's probably what we're missing, right? Bubby, this game always makes me spooked. Spooky-dooky. He's around. Oh, fuck. I think he just left. I think he's going downstairs now. You can hear his jingles. I'm pretty sure at some point we have to knock him out and take his keys, right? I mean, I don't know why we just don't do that now. We have a ladder. Well, not on us, obviously, but we know where one is. He's, he went downstairs, where we have to unfortunately also go. Or he might have gone up. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't sure which way he was coming from. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I can't move. I'm probably dead. Oh my god. He's such an asshole. Oh Shut up. <laughs> Shut up! I don't know if I can go through here. Nope. I guess! No! <laughs> oh, fuck. The problem is the doors suck! Ah! Oh my god! Oh whoa! <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, I'm just panicking. Oh, we're back here at the start! Oh, uh, are we fucked? I'm getting his tool belt. 
I can heal now, actually, I just realised, so let's do that while, while he's chasing us, yeah? Uh, soy milk. Soy! Soy! You need to stop. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, actually, that was not bullshit at all, but still. It was funny. Let's put it that way. Do you think I can climb up the ladder and get away? Uh, I don't know. It is so annoying he doesn't give up after a while. He's very persistent. It's annoying that I can't open any of these doors to get away from him either, you know what I mean? Mm. Because the delay is just massive when you get to the door. I'll figure it out. Oh shit. The problem is here, I, I've got to go back downstairs still and explore. <laughs> I forgot how annoying he is. I didn't. <laughs> and there's only, there's two later on, right? Yep. DV! What? <laughs> I moved slightly in a crouching position. That's such bullshit. You shouldn't have moved at all until he was gone. <laughs> I thought I was like invisible when I was crouching to be honest. No! Room. Well, we're probably gonna have to do all this again. Pretzel is as angry as I am about it. <laughs> Open the doors! Where can I go? There's nothing to open, babe! Nothing! That was bullshit. Well, it wasn't. I, I understand. He's right up my ass. Yeah. Oh, I think it was a ghost then. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't appreciate it because there's a fucking stupid AI following us. <laughs> to the ends of the earth. You Might are definitely dead. going to get caught. I feel the same way, Pretzel. I don't move. Oh no. Please don't. He's going up. Please keep going up. We need to actually see if we can get into any of these fucking rooms. Period. Because I have no idea where to go. Okay. We got the tool belt, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Three, one, two, six. But what's that the code for? I can't remember. Do we have notes? That tell us? Doesn't look like it, Bebenonkin. <laughs> Unless it's in his diary. That's not his diary. Oh no, that's so young's diary. <laughs> well, oh, document. All right, if you need the key, it's in the key box in the main office. I left the password inside the toolbox. Okay, where the fuck is the main office? Directly behind us. All right, that's what we got to do.
And close the door so no one suspects a thing, baby. Hang on. The key box. Where the fuck is the key box? Here. And the code was 3126? Mm, I think so. Main building one, auditorium passageway key. There's another one. A small key painted already. It looks like it can be combined with other keys. <laughs> Great. Oh, there's a safe thing here. Nothing for these at the moment. No, oh, I thought there was something exciting there for a minute. No. Did I read this? To avoid constant replacement of locked keys used in the school, we purchased a machine that can combine and disassemble keys and placed it in the workshop. That's the thing you said was for making keys. Mm. We asked facility management to train all involved parties on the usage and maintenance of the machine. Put two small keys in the tray, pull the lever to combine the keys. You cannot buy a key that has already been combined. Put a combined key in the tray, pull the lever to disassemble the key. Replace with combined keys. This doesn't seem like a very, very unnecessary thing to do. But I guess we should go and do that. Probably. I, I, I guess. Do I don't we, even remember this being in the game. Do we have another key to assemble? No. Unless we can do it with the auditorium key. Are all these locked? Like, I'm not getting any interact points on the doors, which I think is weird. Oh, there. Alright, these are all locked. Like, this one doesn't have any locks, but I still can't open it. I guess you have to unlock the other door first. Mm. If we make it back here, I'll save. If he's not there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, these are all locked. Right, I'm going to save here. I'm going to go to the key machine. Did she open this? Shut up, shut up, shut up, clock. Arsehole. Okay, yeah, so we need a different colour one. Okay. To combine with that, which we don't have. But I do have the key to go to the auditorium area, so let's do that. The question is, what door does that actually unlock? I just realised. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Why? <laughs> Keys. Alright. Main building one, auditorium passageway key. I'm guessing it unlocks that door to the gym storage, because I remember that. So let's head there. He's going to be in the way, but, you know. It's his job to be an arsehole, right? Yep. You see that door? <laughs> At least we know he's not on the other side. I'm just going to book it, alright? <laughs> he was just about to open that door. What an arsehole he really is, Bevan Nomkin. All I wanted was some jam from the jam vendor. And you know what he said to me? You know what he did? He lied to me. Because he's not actually a jam vendor. <laughs> and I'm very upset about this. I mean, he's a jam manga. Yeah, that's not good though. It's not healthy, you know? Certainly not for the people who get turned into jam. He was over here just when he was coming. So hopefully he's not here still. 
If he is, the game's cursed. This game is cursed. I forgot how the, th the third area is going to make me want to die. Alright, we should be able to open this door now. Yes. Oh wow, these are all locked too. Great. Are they all locked? Well, we've got a cutscene, so... Oh, hi! How you doing? Hey, yo. You're here, Nate. Do you need medical assistance? Or you just like being spooky? Hmm. Can we just continue to the next building already? I'm sure there was a lot more to it here than I remember there being. But maybe I'm wrong. That's locked as well. I'm guessing you need the special keys to do that. Oh, hello. Okay. It's probably nothing, right? We might find some more soy in the bins. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping, baby. Nothing bad can happen going this way, so let's just do it, yeah? Mm. Oh! Oh! Do you have a feeling this might be a lot too, baby? Oh no. Is there a ghost fucking with us? Always. There is always a ghost. Being rude. But I don't want to be fucked with. A rat holding crutches. Adorable. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and a coin. I mean, I guess I can buy heels with that. There's a chrysanthemum here left for someone. Listen. Yes. I'm listening. You should not be bum about getting more money. I mean, I'm not bum about it necessarily. Like, I'd like to be Noma. Oh, I guess we were meant to go here and look and then just, like, come back. Hi. Bebe, she put something in the plant pot. Oh my god. What could it possibly be? Okay, dude, you saw her do this. Don't even, don't even try and fuck with me here. <laughs> Is there really nothing here? Did she take something from it? But I, I swear, she she was there, right? Is that right? Oh yeah, I forgot I need to have a light out as well to do shit, don't I? But no kid. There's still nothing there. She went this way. You might need to open the plant. How would I do that? I don't know, it just said it was a weird looking plant. I vaguely remember something horrible happening to plants in this school. Oh, hi! Oh. I've seen you. What are you doing This is the girl that we like. Hour? Um, I wanted to return your diary. So you had it then. 
you came here just to do that? Yeah, I saw Ji Hyun too. That's the girl with the glasses. Ji Hyun is here too? I think this gets rid of the janitor for a while at least. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about this! Holy shit! This is so random. Yeah! <laughs> so Young dropped something. I mean, in, in context, it's very random. Oh, this has got a time limit. Oh. Alright. One second. We got the amount of time to set. We have to save. Okay, we need to go to the hiking club first, I think. Hiking club's down there. We have a key now to all the doors, which is useful. And I don't think there's any janitor at the moment, so we're just gonna hoof it, Pebby. Hoof it. Hoof it. With hoofs? I have hoofs instead of feet, you know? Oh my god. I mean, in real life. That explains so much. What, like, how I'm, how incredibly slow I am? No, why you go clip clop clip clop whenever you walk around? Oh my god. That's unprecedented. <laughs> Purchase requ requested to main office, submitted by hiking club. Request insect repellent spray. To prevent damage caused by insects while participating in outdoor activities. Keep away from heat and open flame as the content is extremely flammable. Well, I think we got some insect repellent in here. Get your fucking lighter out. Insect repellent spray, perfect. All right, now we need to go into the gym storage, which is next door, I think. In this is not the right room, but I'm going to pick up the save thing here while I'm here. This is the right room. And to be fair, unlocking all these doors while the janitor isn't around is actually a pretty good idea, I think. Alright, we've got a note here. Remember, left then right, left th right then left. 94, 86, 83, 96. Don't wear a hat when seeing the school nurse. I think she hates hats. Who the fuck would write that? I mean, somebody did. Anyway, so what you have to do here is read the medals in the locker in the back here to get the uh, code for the thing. We're not going to bother doing that. We're going to take the hat though, but we're not going to bother reading the counting them because I already know the answer. Because I just remember it from so long ago, obviously. No other reason, right? Oh, I, actually, this guy doesn't actually tell you it. Apparently it's random, so we do have to look at it. Fuck! <laughs> Get ready to write this down, baby, because we're going to need you to. Uh, Alright. So, uh, it's going to be... Fuck! Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9... Um... 5... 6... 7... 8... 9... You got it? Five nine oh no wait, nine no. oh my god babe nine five two I wrote them down nine five I'm two just four just fucking dyslexic leave me alone <laughs> nine five two four <laughs> all right uh so we need to go left right left then right okay so how do I go left yep yeah, then what five. Two. Four. Did that work? Why I, didn't that work? Did I, I, I think I think you went right instead of left for the first one. Did I? I'm gonna start it in the middle again. I hate saves in video games. They never work like real saves. All right, so. I need to go left, right, left, right. Okay, so do nine, and then five, and then two, okay. and then four. Nope. So I tried the other way around. You never tell with this shit, you know what I mean? I'll do this way, okay? Are you sure it's back, forth, back, forth, and not... Yeah, I am. It's possible I counted wrong. 
Not working. Let me have a look at this. Where the fuck is the note? How long do we have left? Oh, we've got time. We could still do this. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Fuck. It's Left completely the wrong right, code. Right, then I was right. No, 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 no. That's correct. The problem is the numbers are in the wrong order. No. Yes. You were telling me left, right, left, right. Yeah. It says left then right, right then left. Oh, well, the guide is wrong. I was using the guide. <laughs> All right, we need to do this again. I've already forgotten the order, though. My hat can't look at it at the same time as looking at the fucking thing. All right. So 94, 86, 83, 96. So it's first is two. Okay, so two. I've already forgotten the order. I can't remember anything for more than a few seconds. 86 is next. So 94, so two, five, nine, four is the code. All right. All right. And what did the thing say? The order? Left, right, then right, and left. Okay. So left, how would I do that? Well, you need to put it back to zero. Okay, what's the code? Two. I went right, didn't I? Yeah, you went right. <laughs> okay. Five. And that's the other way, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, then what? Now we go right again to nine. Yep. Wait, it didn't it didn't keep the five. For fuck's sake, this stupid fucking game. There we go. Okay, so the note was wrong anyway. The note was wrong! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was horrible. Alright, anyway. So the note lies. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, okay. We now need to put the chemical solvent on the five plants around the school, and we've got eight minutes to do it. Hi. One. Hmm. I think there'll be another one over here. The one down here, I think I saw as well. Yep. This is wolves. I think that's damaging me every time it does it too. Mm, it doesn't look like the speckles have gotten any worse. I mean, that's true. Maybe I'm alright. Stay there, so young. It'll be fine, probably. I think her name's so. I do appreciate they don't let the janitor out while you're doing this. Oh, that would so much. I do wonder if in the original he was around. I can't I, remember. I can't remember, yeah. There's also quick time events in this, which I can't wait. Right, that's where we need to go to, I think, to deal with the problem, but we still haven't done one of the plants yet. It's just down this way, I think. I think there's one by the workshop area. Mm. I'm not sure, but we'll check. Mm. That's where we came in. Yeah, here. How convenient that you have exactly the amount of liquid in that bottle needed to take care of all of the plants. Alright. Now we gotta do a quick time event. So I hope I don't fuck this up, otherwise Good. we're gonna have to redo quite a lot of stuff. Well, can you save before then? Nope. Why no? <laughs> no saves while there's a timer. A lot of running this. Oh 
Or maybe they got rid of the quick time events? Well, keep an eye I'm out. I'm keeping an eye out. Oh no, they definitely didn't. Okay. It's such a strange enemy to suddenly have in the school. I think I did it. I think I did it, Bobby. Go save at the most soonest of soons. Well, okay, so the janitor won't appear now until we go into a certain room and continue the story so we can loot every other room okay. in full. Well, that's numb, but... <laughs> Spider? How did we end up here? This is the room the tree was in. Yeah, but why is it not burnt? It's just gone to sleep. Arthropods that are arachnids. What, they weren't bugs? Eight-legged? You. Six to eight eyes, body parts, a head, chest, and stomach. There's a wandering kind, the settling kind. They can't chew, they dissolve their prey with their stomach fluid. Its thin bones and squishy body make it hard to make a preserved specimen. Next week's assignment is measuring a spider's weight using the specimen. The teacher promised to tell a scary story of class ends early next week. I'm excited. Why would you be that? I, I, I'm not gonna lie, like, when I was at school, right, I, I wanted as minimal interaction with the teachers as humanly possible. <laughs> Not because I, like, I hated, like, all my teachers or anything, but I just hated school. <laughs> mm. And any interaction with the teachers was a reminder that school was awful. Alright, so, the main story continues if we go to room 28. Okay, which is not on this floor. So we can explore this entire floor now. And then we'll drop a save once we get to the save point down the end of the corridor, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't think, I think there's going to be that much to see here, but we'll see. You never know, we might come across some numb things, baby. And especially, everyone's favourite. This. It's a stick bug saying something. How do you know it's saying something? Maybe he's the one who drew all of them. <laughs> like, maybe he's just like, he just came to the school and is like graffitiing everywhere. Yeah. I guess you've got to make a good first impression, huh? I think sometimes if you it, it, it just by random RNG sometimes, right? If you open one of these lockers, the head of that ghost might be in there. But I think it's pretty much RNG whether we see it or not, unfortunately. No oh well. But it's probably a Nolkin anyway, right? It only said it mangled a few people. And they were probably bumpkins. Nee. It's so dumb, you have to unlock this door to unlock the other door. Or maybe, did I just hear something? Bubby, one of these lockers could be the one. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> you ready again? Gonna be in any of these? How do you know? Because it wasn't. I mean, that's true, but you said that afterwards. Bef no, wait. <laughs> the opposite one. Beforehand. These are just the same room again and again. Oh, this one's shiny though. Ah, oh, it's for a puzzle, baby. A one gram weight. So numb. I hear something else what here. What possesses you? To look in a locker, see a one gram weight and go. Oh yeah, this I sounds should, I should put this in my pocket. I hear like a radio. It's just your imagination. I mean it isn't. Tell There's lots of odd background noise in this actually. <laughs> like you hear it here. Have you been looking at the Thing to make sure there's no felt on the actual thing. Oh, you mean on this? Yeah. I think so. Well, we can check though. Just, we've got four at the moment. Keep an eye out. I know, I always like, I'm like, well, we got so many. And then I'm like, I say four times in a minute and then ruin it all. Mm -hmm. I hate the fact that I have to check all these. Like, I'm genuinely on edge even though nothing's happening. A report card. 
Oh, he was ranked in second place. Loser. Ha! Ah! Garden baby. I'll check the things very quickly, all right? I mean, you don't have to. Just... Well, I mean, I would like as many saves as possible. You know why? Why? Because this game's really fucking hard. <laughs> Make sure you don't go into the room. Yeah, it's not on this floor, so we should be fine on this floor. Did I already go in this one? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing there. I, but you're right, there are some times when they are in that. You know? Mm. So room 2-8 will trigger the janitor. Okay. I'm gonna save. Okay, so I haven't got the home economics room key yet. What floor are we on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! It's not on this floor, it's fine. <laughs> Doesn't know what floor she's on. Listen, <laughs> I am a nomkin. I only do nomkin this things. Hang on. Can I open any of these? No, not yet. Stupid fucking lockers. And as a nomkin this, I must say, that I resent your attitude, young lady. Alright, map. What room don't we go in? 2-7, the one that's directly in front of us here, okay? Do you think I should go in from the other end first? And clear out those rooms in case it triggers a cutscene walking near it? Maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. You never know. You never know, baby nomkin. You can't trust these weeb games. Is it technically weeb if it's Korean, though? Uh, probably not. But I guess it depends on how nitpicky a person is. Oh, I never unlocked this. The janitor unlocked this right in front of me a bunch of times, the miserable fuck! <laughs> what an asshole! I just want to check up here quickly. Okay, this is just a dead end again. God, I hate the janitor so much in this game. Like, like almost irrationally. He is incredibly annoying. It's it's so, like, frustrating that there is not a cooldown timer. Like, after he goes... Especially in the third building. That's when it gets brutal. It, it's just... I think you should just program that into your game. If you're gonna have a tracker thing. It's only, it's only fair. And if if you have him chasing you for like five minutes, just it, it 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 just like it takes away the scary. It's not scary because oh I'm so scared. It's I really don't want to get caught because I'm gonna get so pissed off if I have to do another fucking thirty minutes of this shit. <laughs> Yondu newspaper full issue. Is fall the season for suicide? According to statistics, people with specialized jobs commit more suicides than average people. Gender-wise, more women tend to commit suicide than men, and more adolescents, those in their twenties and thirties. And the elderly are subject to suicide. I was like, say, hang on. Statistics also show that suicide rates peak during spring and fall. Just with these facts, it can be argued that rather than being rational, the motives of suicide are often emotional ones. In most cultures, suicide is treated as a crime or escaping from reality. In a religious standpoint, it's considered a sin. Suicide is one of the choices that God has granted humans, but it also has the greatest punishment. Researchers today say that broken identity, anxiety, and stages of hopelessness lead to suicide, especially for teenagers. It's most commonly caused by mental stressors. Mental stress causes serious damage to people who do not possess a fully developed sense of self. In such cases, it's crucial for the people around them the at risk to show continuing support and interest. A person ready to commit suicide feels they're at a crossroads. They chose, choose death when they decide that life is meaningless. Let us not forget that we do not need some grand reason to continue on with our lives. Life is meaningful enough as being an opportunity to grow and better yourself. The support from loved ones can greatly reduce the chance of suicide. Life can be meaningful, even in the simple breath. Okay, that's a nice sentiment, but why the fuck is that in, like, a school newsletter? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like if, if my school sent that home with my kid, I'd be like, you're leaving this school. You're not- you're not coming here. <laughs> you're not going to school ever again. Congratulations. You get to teach them then, because I ain't fucking doing it. Listen. I feel that that was a strong reaction, Bebe. From you, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I 
you're always just... Here's what Minx does, okay? No. Mi this happens with pretzels, so I only imagine what's gonna happen when we have a human baby next year. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know yet. Um, but she makes me be the bad mom. <laughs> this is not true. She makes me standard. be the mother that has to do the disciplining, take her to the vet, and constantly traumatize her, take her to bum places for her benefit, and make her not kill herself. And she gets to be the mommy who is just like, oh yeah, I'll give you extra treats and cuddles and let you get away with everything. I'll be the mummy where all the good things happen and <laughs> and this Quizum is, this, gets to be the mummy where true. all the bad things happen. <laughs> I've got a piece of a class schedule. Wonderful. This Listen, I'm ignoring true. this slander, basically. It's at this not point. slander. It is the truth. S is it slander? No. It's just facts. Alright, what's this? Okay. Great. I'm gonna be the mom. I'm gonna be the mama. That is just like, no, sweetie, I'm sorry. You have to do your homework. You can't just flunk out of school. And Mace is gonna be like, you don't have to do homework ever again. <laughs> Never. It's fine. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Nothing bad could happen at all. <laughs> Consequence free life. Oh my god. <laughs> so numb. Okay, that was creepy. The sound, atmospheric sounds immediately stopped when we got in here. Truthfinder 3. The secret of the storage room. Our school is pretty good about managing lost belongings. The school rule is that unless an owner is found, lost items will be kept indefinitely. They are sorted by dates they were found and grouped in boxes accordingly. The items that have been unclaimed for long periods of time are stored separately. Oddly enough, there are extensive and rare things that can be found here. The items in this room can be used by anyone. Now let's talk about the secret of the storage room. The room gives off a cold and creepy feel like a haunted house. Some say it's because it's where all the unwanted belongings are stored. But others speculate it's because of the items left by people who've killed themselves. How many people at the school killed themselves? Let's I'm take not. a look at the following story. C found a cushion that she really liked. She was worried the cushion cushion would be claimed because it was thrown into the forever lost box. In the end, the cushion made its way to her, but she lost it shortly after, and the cushion was returned to the storage room by someone else. C went to the lost and found and took the cushion back, but somehow the cushion found its way back to the storage room. This went on for a while before she gave up. A former graduate recalls a time when he was shocked when entering the storage room. A music box had been seen in the storage room while he was attending the school. Ten years ago, it was still there, in the exact same condition as it was back then. Perhaps there are items possessed by ghosts in that room. Another mystery is the fact the quantity of lost items seems to be maintained at a certain level at all times. Okay, that is weird. The radio static's in this room too. Oh, is it like the AC? Like being faulty or some shit? Mm. I wish we had an AC. Listen. I mean, we, we technically we do have like a, a unit, but it's one of those big clunky ones. And because of the, how the windows are in Britain, uh, we have to attach it to the door. <laughs> like we have to keep the door wide open and we have like this sort of hazmat curtain thing where the hose pumps out into, and it's just a big faff to set it up. <laughs> yeah, we use it in the summer because it gets really hot. We use it in the summer because if we didn't, we would literally not be able to work because the computers would overheat. But, um, in general, if it's just like, ugh, it feels miserable, but, uh, not enough to actually deal with the faff of getting it set up. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Well, we found one of the ghosts! Could you stop screaming? You screaming scared me more than the ghost! What? Well, I can't help my reaction, <laughs> Numkin! Stop having emotions! I love you. I'm gonna drink the milk, okay. Baby, there's a trophy for drinking a hundred soy milks. Hmm. Oriental studies, interesting theory of the five elements. Let's learn about the five elements, the foundation of Oriental studies. The five elements are often only thought of as part of Eastern philosophy. This is why the importance of five elements has been lost in the modern world today. The five elements represent the changes and the properties of everything in the universe. They are expressed in these five symbols. 
The five elements describe the changes in nature of the universe and can be expressed as birth, growth, collection, union, and change. The first element, wood, represents birth. Fire represents a stage of growth. Metal represents a stage of collection. Water represents a stage of union. Finally, earth represents a soil on which the previous four elements progress, symbolizing a state of change. Why is that relevant? Are, those, are the doors in this marked with those, actually? I vaguely remember something like that. Okay. Can we not go in this room? This room... Oh shit, I think I went in the room. No, I didn't. Or if I did, the, oh, the janitor is back, yeah. It's alright, we only have one room to check out, I guess, so it's not a big deal. Why can't we write on the chalkboard with the chalk, baby? A voice that beckons me. A and B were close classmates. I always took care of B, who was very fragile. B was always thankful to A for that. Without A, B knew it would be impossible to have a normal school life. To B, A was the most important person in the world. Then one day there was an accident at the school. There was a fire in the old school building. Unfortunately, B was inside. B could not escape and died in the fire. A was deeply saddened by B's death. She could hear B screaming out A's name, begging to be saved. In the imagination of A, the desperate voice calling for help from B slowly filled with resentment. A felt very sad and thought that B's death was her fault. After that, A did not step outside her room. A's mind was full of thoughts about B. Even while asleep, B would appear in the dream of A, resenting A for not being there to save B. Being awake was no different. The voice of B always followed A. A knew it must be auditory hallucination caused by sadness and guilt, but A was in agony nonetheless. A began to lose weight day by day, suffering from the pain and guilt. Then one night, A quietly snuck out of her home to visit the school. A passed the bench in the school field where they always sat and chatted with each other and arrived at the spot where B died. A heard the resentful voice of B even there. A thought it was time to end her agony, to escape the sadness and guilt of losing a friend she loved. A chose suicide. A thought that going to where B was now would be the only way to escape from the haunting voice of B. A chose to hang herself. The pain was so great that A couldn't breathe until her sight slowly faded away. As if coming to greet A, the face of B appeared faintly in front of her. The face of B glowing with a hazy blue light was smiling brightly. B's face came closer and whispered, Thanks, I needed you to die so I can live again. A struggled to breathe to save herself from her fate. The voice that just whispered from the voice of B, the same voice that had been following A ever since B died. A wasn't hearing things. The voice was real. What a bitch. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> That's really just mean. It's always the quiet ones. <laughs> it's always the quiet one. I mean, you're a quiet one, Bubba Numpkin. No, I'm only quiet if you don't know me. I'm gonna check the other room before we go do the pick up that, okay? Or if you're my wife. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Who doesn't like when I talk? I love when you talk. It's a lie. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I don't know what that noise is. Okay, we have five saves at the moment. That's good. Mm. That ghost really got me, by the way. The one in the fucking map. I was like, why is the map wobbling? Alright. Just gotta pick up the thing and we can get the fuck out of here. We'll just be chased by the janitor probably on the way. Because he is what? A bonky? Yes. Hey, why are you still here? Anyway, what was that noise I heard? Uh, a big tree monster kidnapped Soya. Tree? Are you insane? <sighs> hmm, I don't understand what you're saying. Why are there so many guys in this school who are completely obsessed with So Young? She's not even that pretty. <laughs> hey, come on, be honest. Are you here this late because you're into So Young as well? Is it? Because tomorrow is White Day. It's none of your business. Have it your way, then. 
Look, wake up, stupid. You think you're the only one so young bewitched with that face of hers? You don't know this, but she's a manipulative witch. Really? Is so young really like that? Yes, she is. And that's not all. There are a ton of totally strange rumors about her. Rumor has it, so young. Huh? Did you hear something just now? I mean, that's a pretty. <laughs> Go to where the sound's coming from. Is it pretty what? I don't know, I forgot. What are you doing in here? Tell me, what happened earlier? Uh, you got grabbed by a giant tree. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm fine. She's dealing with this well. I can't remember anything. I woke up on the floor of a completely different room. I have a feeling that tonight is very different. Maybe the day is here. You know something too, don't you? Um, there was a piece of wood that looked like a talisman. All I did was put that piece in place. Oh yeah? Uh, maybe. Maybe this is all your fault. That might have caused it. All right, that's fine. This school has so many hidden secrets. I'm gonna go now. If you want to leave the school, go to main building too. Okay. Thanks for the help. Or the complete lack of it. That wasn't in here before. Oh no. Somebody put their hands in a jam jar and then stuck it on the wall. That's so rude. What a it, waste of jam. It's so rude. Alright. He's coming this way. Because of course he is. I know. Hoping I can go around him though, you know what I mean? I think I got further enough away from him at least. I just hope he doesn't double back. Because I'm in trouble if he does. Maybe I gotta be careful. Okay, we'll be careful. I'm being careful. Are you? Not particularly. <laughs> I'm running. He'll definitely hear me, but they <laughs> She does this and then she complains so much when he shows up. <laughs> That's that is lies. <laughs> Take this wood crest. I'm blind. And we finished the first building. So no. So no. This is buildings. I think a little less stressful than the previous one. There's more ways of getting away. Mm. But we do need a place to save. ASAP. You got mun -muns. I did. But there are also other things here, other than just the janitor, to worry about. But hopefully we'll find a safe point soon. Title, The Mental Health of the Students. Most of our students suffer from a considerable amount of anxiety about the future. I guess that's normal. This is quite natural considering their state as adolescents. However, some students are using odd methods it's quite in... natural considering how fucking harsh schools are. I mean, that's true as well. In an attempt to cope with their anxiety issues. These co odd coping methods come across school like wildfire. In a way, this brings light to the fact that students today lack responsibility and sense of identity. See? <laughs> the real problem, however, is that some of these odd coping methods are taking as more than a joke. They're turning into a fanatic religion. 
Students have yet to form a solid sense of identity and more easily lured to join these fanatic sects. Like, cults are actually a huge problem in Korea. Like, genuinely. One of the main coping methods the students use is the act of calling the dead. Using an Ouija board, students attempt to call upon the dead to quell the uncertainties they face by asking the ghost questions or even to predict the future. At a glance, it could be dismissed as an immature act of self-reassurance that can be safely ignored. However, that is not the case. When such acts are common, committed repeatedly, the student will often eventually lose his or her grasp on reality, and in some extreme cases, the student exhibits a full-on psychological breakdown. This matter must be resolved for the safety of the school, and heavy supervision is advised until a... And it just trails off. We need to get in. That's the janitor's room. Hello! Someone's calling, Bubby. Where is the phone? I don't know. Class materials. The theory of five elements is made up of a cycle of harmony and aversion. Harmony being an energy aiding another energy to flow better and its forward movement in the cycle in contrast. Aversion is when an energy is going against another energy to block its flow and in the backwards movement. The flow of aversion is as follows. Metal, wood, metal can cut through wood, wood uh, greater than earth, wood takes nutrients from earth, earth greater than water, earth can block water from flowing. Water greater than fire, water extinguishes fire. Fire greater than metal, as fire melts metal, then the cycle repeats. The flow of harmony is as follows. Fire and earth, fire returns to earth after being exhausted. Earth and metal, metal is extracted from the earth. Metal and water, metal becomes a source for water. Water and wood, water raises wood. Wood and fire, as wood burns to create fire and the cycle resumes from the first. In the cycle of harmony, there is a hidden principle that all things will be righted. This can be said to be a true reflection of the depth of Eastern philosophy. Okay then. How well? It's so young, oh my god. <laughs> Attention, all teachers working night shifts. The passcode to the principal office has been changed due to a recent leak. The passcode is on the chalkboard in the student department office written with a piece of special chalk that's invisible under fluorescent light. The principal does not approve of others entering his office while he's away. Please use the passcode only in case of the emergencies. I've read that completely wrong. In case of the emergencies. You know what I'd like, baby? Mm-hmm. A save. Yeah. It's been a while. I'm not a fan of save points in games. To be fair. I don't think you are either, though. I'm not a fan of living in saves, though. Or, or even, like, just having a set place where you can save. I'm more willing to deal with save points than I am with limited saves, but mm. I would prefer just to be able to save wherever I want. Because I just I just don't see the point of it. Oh, it's a key. Lost the family key. Just let me save where I want. What if I'm a normal person that works a nine to five job and I and I need to like be able to go to sleep at a reasonable time? <laughs> I mean, it's fair. Let's learn about Morse code. Let's not. Morse code is a communication code invented and developed by Samuel Fidley, Brees Morse that can compose and send sentences using short and long signals. It is considered the most basic emergency communication device due to the fact that you can communicate using very simple signals. As Morse code is composed of short and long signals, you don't need a special device to communicate it as long as you can express it. For example, you may send messages by controlling the speed at which you blink or tap with your fingers. For this characteristic, it appears often in books and movies where the main character is in danger uses it secretly to send messages without being found out by the enemy. The original Morse code requires that you pause about three short signals between sending of a text, but depending on the situation, it's possible to send signals continuously. In such cases, you want to analyze it in sections broken up by using the same numbers of the signals. For example, if a number every five signals indicates a number, so for a four-digit number, it would be five something four equals 20. Thus, you could analyze 20 signals in sections of five. I hate that.
Great. I think I might be looking in a pocket or something, but it's very dark. I should just turn the light on, actually, because he doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. Baby Numkin. What is going on? I mean... Caffeine and teenagers. Coffee is the most popular beverage containing caffeine. Moderate consumption of caffeine can simulate the central nervous system. Do we really need to read these? I guess so. Okay. On average, consuming no more than 400 milligrams is recommended to enjoy the health benefits. A cup of coffee contains approximately 100 milligrams of caffeine. Regular consumption of caffeinated products such as coffee can lead to caffeine addiction and eventually cause withdrawal symptoms. Common symptoms include fatigue, nausea, vomiting, hypertension, and headache. I'm not sure about all of those. However, the harmful properties of caffeine itself are not worrisome. It's when caffeine is consumed in excess that it becomes a health hazard. Overconsumption of caffeine leads to onset of harmful symptoms and continuous consumption can lead to death. For adults, the lethal dose of caffeine is about 150 milligrams, or about 50 to 200 cups of coffee. The lethal dose is much lower for children and teenagers. I'm sorry, 50 to 200? That's a pretty big goddamn gap. Yeah, that's like it's, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure... That's okay. a pretty wide so, fucking range. So once, right, I drank about six litres of an energy drink in a day, and I was, like, shaking uncontrollably. Well, I was just when I was working a normal job. Um... Caffeine is also known to cause birth defects. Like alcohol and nicotine, caffeine is a drug with addictive properties, but unlike the others, it does not have any age restrictions. Therefore, okay, in our country it does. Therefore, it's important to better understand the properties of caffeine and moderate its consumption. In the UK, it does, so. Okay. I don't think this is a puzzle, I think I'm just blind. Baby, we found another crane that's completely irrelevant to everything that we're doing. Isn't that numb? It's so numb. It's possibly the numbest thing ever, really. Listen. There is something about this jacket. I've just got to find it. Is this a pocket or not? Aha! Here. Student department office key. Be really good if there was a save, though. What is that noise? Oh, save. Thank fuck. Let me just grab this first. A cult club announcement. With the start of a new term, we're paired for an event for everyone. We will give out a small prize for anyone who can solve the quiz for bringing the hidden treasure to our club. A hidden treasure is a clue to one of the latest ghost stories of the school that's quickly gaining fame. Whoever finds it first can have it. No one's been able to collect the full series so far, and therefore it's a high commodity to collect among students. It's a great opportunity to get both the clue for the latest ghost story and a handsome prize. We hope you will participate. If by any chance you collect all the clues to the ghost stories to this event, please contact the president of the occult club. You can actually get them all in one playthrough on normal, but I'm not going to. Because it's just for a trophy. Alright, do we have a map for this area yet? I don't know. Yes. Yes, we do. But we need to get to the next floor, baby. Oh, my God. Because we need to get into the principal's office, but we have to solve a puzzle. We probably can't actually sell first to do that. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun. It's okay. There's other things we need to do anyway. Oh, hang on. Can we get out here? Yes. <gasps> Bubby, it's a barrier they saw in Main Building 1. Oh my god. I think it's so weird that they call it, like, Main Building 1 and stuff like that. <laughs> Bubby, there's no way to poo. Oh no. What are we possibly gonna do? Mm, cry. 
pretty sure the janitor's wandering around, by the way. Well, yeah. He's such an asshole. You think he'd like, I don't know, like, if he hated his job that much, just, you know, get a job as like, I don't know, a child catcher or something. It's a popular career in Europe. I saw the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, so I know. I thought you were going there, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I was going there. <laughs> Part of a rip picture. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't do that, right? I should do this. Because then he won't know. Probably. That would be a good idea. I found a new secret about the music teacher's hidden treasure. One of the paintings in the main building is said to have a key inside that unlocks the room. I'm so close to winning the treasure hunt that I can almost taste it. That's all very strange, Bebe Nomkin. I mean, not really. Don't kids normally do stuff like that? Oh no. What could this possibly... Why is Where it just... could... <laughs> I can't move it. <laughs> Where could this piece possibly go? I guess I need to find all the bits first. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm weirded out by the fact that I can't find the fucking janitor. <laughs> Student department office. Okay, we need to leave that for now. I want to go to the lost and found room first. Such long hallways. No comment about the long hallways. I thought there was a bumpkin there. Oh no. No, it's the poopy baby. <laughs> oh Jesus. There's no need to scream quite so loud, child. Really, is there? Dusty stationery paper to G1 Kim. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye in person. I'm being forced to leave, all because of a sick rumor. Should you hear a rumor about me, please do not pay attention to it. It's a story made up by people plotting against me. Once I leave, I'm sure you'll be bored because there'll be no one left to entertain your ridiculous theories and ideas. For me, I'll be sad because there will be no one to understand my world of art. To ease the sadness of saying goodbye, I leave you a farewell gift. It's my painting of you holding your first art piece. I think you said you created the piece to hide something important, right? Anyways, I wish you good health and good luck in the future. I'm assuming that that is like an inappropriate teacher rumor. Mm. I thought this room was meant to be like super mysterious. It's just boxes of shit. I mean, kids can make anything mysterious. That's true. The legends of the school type shit, right? Mm. Okay, we haven't got the key to that room yet. Can you stop doing that, please, ghosties, or wind, or whatever one of you it is? Ghost wind. Ghost wind is the worst kind of wind, Bubba, you know why? Why? Because you can't see who dealt it. I mean, you can't really see who dealt it, usually. Listen. That is true. But that's hardly the fault of anyone else, okay? Who said it was anyone's fault? Okay, listen. 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 So this puzzle here, you see this? Mm -hmm. If you don't understand kanji, okay, it basically means that you're fucked here, okay? Because the entire puzzle is on the basis of kanji, all right? And they never ever fix this in any release of the game. So unless you are a kanji, a Korean, uh, or Chinese speaker, you are probably fucked here, okay? I don't know if you could speak kanji, but okay. You know what I mean. So... I can, what I'm going to say is, we're going to go to the principal's office and try a bunch of possible codes on the door 
because it is random every time which what it is okay mm -hmm. and uh as a result we'll bypass that puzzle es es essentially okay mm -hmm. but that's what we're going to do i just wanted to show them what where it is at least you know what i mean where you get the code from okay numkin you know, I'm not sure why you're referring to me. You could be referring to the viewer. The viewer's watching this. I'm calling the viewer's numpkins. Are you okay with that? <laughs> okay. I heard him. He's gonna come for your bum. I hear the janitor might be a relative of Big Bum Bim. I actually would not be surprised by this shocking revelation, actually. <laughs> All right, so the co there's not that many possible codes. First time, first one. <laughs> that was lucky. All right. Water disconnection report sounds fascinating. The mo water of the main building has been disconnected due to undetermined reason. However, a single sink in the science lab on the third floor of main building C still has running water. The students seem to be disturbed. The students seem to find this disturbing. A major repair will be conducted to rectify our current water problem. I guess you're right about students coming up with shit. Because mm. that does seem like that, right? All right. Okay. We've got the principal's document. Name, Jiwon Kim. All right. Committed suicide in school grounds in 2000. No friends or family appeared after his death. Seemed antisocial and exhibited eccentric behaviour from the start. Created and spread rumours about a conspiracy in the school. Showed some signs of paranoia. Installed a lock on the music room for his exclusive use and would hide the piano chair key so nobody else could find it. He was being closely monitored around the time of his death. The possibility of murder cannot be ruled out, but given the weight of the evidence found, it's most likely he committed suicide. Okay, and we have Na Young Hen. A top student during her first two years, but her grades began to fall when she entered her third year. The cause for her grade slipping was not found. She did not appear to be having issues at home. She was found dead in the school. Lacking any evidence for murder, her death was ruled as suicide by hanging. This school is fucked. Yeah. A delusional woman who began wandering around the school two or three years ago. Well, sometimes trespass on the school grounds, but does not show any concerning behaviour. She may be involved with the accident three years ago, but there's no evidence linking her. Exhibits a particular sensitivity to alarms, fire and security. They cause her to have seizures. That's very important for later on. What do we have here? It, we it have. feels like we're standing on the chair while we're looking at the drawers. I mean, that's true. Okay. Nothing else here? I think there should be some other stuff here. But I'm not entirely sure. The we. thingy had a hand. Why is this one openable but none of the others? Isn't that some weird shit? I mean... It's locked with a device. Oh. Oh, baby Numkin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How much do you think a desk like that costs to have, like, a freaking locking, a elaborate locking mechanism put in? You ever think someone just said, why don't you just get a key lock? Like, a normal key lock. And, why can't I look at the then, other side here? And then the principal's like, no. 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 It has to be a this complicated puzzle. I thought I was meant to look at this and match them, but I can't look at these, so... I mean, you could see it from here. Uh, eh. Eh. They're all just facing the same way. Yeah, but they didn't work. Maybe do it. Oh, they're not the same, are they? Yeah, no. I just turn them around each way until we get one. Yes? Yeah. If that's actually the case, I don't know if that's true. I mean, it might not be the case. It just looks like it from here. Upside down bed the head. Hmm. There you go. There we go. It was right. And, and we got had, a videotape. We just had to mirror each other, that's all. A videotape. Okay, if you found this in the principal's office, I just assume this was porn, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Holy crap! Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, this happens in the coma as well in a Korean school. <laughs> no, I think about it. That's a really good game, the coma too. 
I don't think I've ever seen them. <sighs> Such a bumpkin. We're gonna see where he's gonna put the key. I hate these people constantly using folding chairs. It gives me anxiety. Like you're not supposed to stand on those. That girl in the in the Silent Hill thing did that too. How do I crouch? How do I crouch? I can't remember. See? There. Yeah. It's it's X. Oh. I'm not using a mouse and keyboard. Oh. I almost pooped. I'm gonna give him time to get away. We need to get into the faculty office uh, one, okay? Because mm -hmm. that's where he stashed the key. And then we need to take that to the second floor. I don't think he was active before, but he is active now, which is Bumbus. Surprised he didn't close that door. There's a key he, he stashed cunningly. Oh, you're still here? What's happening? Are you lost? No, I didn't leave because I was worried about you. No, oh my god. Worried? About me? You mentioned Ji Hyun earlier, right? Could you help me then? Because I need to find her. Why? I think this causes the janitor to despawn for a while, by the way. Oh, that's good. You should just leave her here and explore everything. At this hour. And the same can be said about you, too. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. There seems to be a lot of people who shouldn't be here today. I mean, that is true. It's fucking weird. It is a bit odd. There's like, like, at least like six or seven people here tonight that aren't dead. Right there. Let's see, the three girls... What the fuck is that noise? Many kids say they saw a ghost on the staircase. They say there's a kid who just sits here and cries. Right here. If you pass and don't know it's a ghost, it'll grab your ankle. Do you believe in stuff like that? The option is... Yeah, I do now. I believe it too. That's why I snuck in. That makes no sense. Hmm, ghost hunter. Budding ghost hunter. The weird pictures of like dogs and shit everywhere. That must have been like a Kickstarter thing, yeah. maybe. Yeah. You feel that? So creepy. But they're right? numb. They're very numb puppies. They say you get goosebumps when a ghost passes through your body. Every time I'm here, I get this strange vibe. Like someone or something is watching me. The music is, teacher who committed suicide used to say the same thing. That there's something in this school. After the teacher died, a rumor spread that there was a relic containing the school's secret hidden somewhere here. Okay. In the end, nobody ever found it. This is kind of handy because she's going towards where I need to go to unlock the door. <laughs> Did 
Shut up. I don't like the wind rattling the windows, Bubby. Oh no. God, you walk so slowly. I mean, people normally walk slowly. No, they don't. I walk slowly. Yes. But then again, I do have a bad hip and a bad back. Yes. Like an old lady. Not like an old lady. Over here. Let's try in here. Okay, then you said that in a I weird way. You were going to help me. Did I just fuck it up? You might have. Oh no. Faculty office? Feels kind of odd. I just wasn't opening it fast enough for her. Sometimes I think the teachers are the ghosts of the people who died in this school. Should be a dialogue choice if we're back on track soon. They are watching us to someday make us their next sacrifice. Even at this very moment. No, I was already yep, do you have any proof? Is the uh, last dialogue choice here. But I was already Don't you office. think, since we're locked in, that kind of proves it? No. <laughs> hey, Soyoung! Ji Hyun, you really are here. What are you doing here so late at night? What do you mean? You called and told me to come. So I called you? Yeah. Hey, I need to talk to Ji Hyun. You go to the new building and try to find a way out of here. She's like, I did not fucking call you. I've seen so many Korean lesbian high school movies that I associate that with every Korean thing now. <laughs> I've seen a lot of them, like, genuinely. Well, yeah, I know. Alright. Class announcement. New advanced mathematics class. To better encourage students to excel in maths, we are designating junior homeroom 7 as a new advanced maths class. From now on, top students in maths will receive math lessons according to their level during fifth period. We ask all homeroom teachers to relay this announcement to their classes and submit a list of their qualifying students by next week. That is all. That is dun, all, dun, baby. Dun. State of the school? Inappropriate rumours. Games like treasure hunting are becoming a quick spreading fad among students, but this is no average treasure hunt. It's the finest CD which belongs to the deceased music teacher who committed suicide in school premises last year. The rumour is that Mr. Kim, the music teacher, had left the CD before his death, which contains his last words in the secret of the school. According to the students, the clues Mr. Kim have left have been found periodically raising the credibility of the rumour. The rumours come to the point where it's disrupting classes. Some students are even known to bet huge amounts of money on this. All homeroom teachers are advised to be aware of the situation and pay special attention in regards to this issue. Yeah, I'd never send my kid to the school, Beb. Would you send our kid here? No. That does always happen, though, in these types of uh, storylines, doesn't it? What, like, all the school, like, legends and rumors and shit? Well, not just that. Just, like, a terrible... Any terrible school that's terrible, for some reason their parents are still sending them there. You're not wrong. And there's always, like, an excuse, either, like, the parent doesn't believe the kid, or, like, oh, yeah, it might be terrible, but it's such a great school, so it doesn't matter if you almost die. <laughs> it's just stupid shit like that. I mean, you're not wrong. They're very chill about it. A science lab key, baby. Get rid of the broken stereo system in the music supplies room. The rumor that the broken stereo plays by itself is causing even more chaos in the student community, which is already in disarray. The students won't even enter the music room. Since it belonged to G1 Kim, who killed himself last year, put it away with the rest of his personal effects in the lost and found room. Okay, why are you putting the effects of a dead man in the lost and found? It's not lost. He's just gone. It shouldn't it be going to his family? Or like, put in a bin? I don't know, but you would think so, right? Okay, like, so we need to go to the science lab, which is on the third it's floor. It's not lost! We're gonna have to deal with the janitor Chan here. Oh, I haven't saved for a while either. Yeah. 
or at all today. I mean, we haven't been recording for that long. But it would still be a good idea. It's coming. Just stay dead. He's outside the room. We might just be in this stairway, it's hard to tell. He's around, because the eye was around. Are you fucking shitting me? Oh god, where is he? I don't know, I just heard him again. It's making me shit myself. <laughs> I want to say before I get into a chase. He's in the stairwell. Just being a dick. The save point's down here. He probably... He went down here. He's outside that you can see his torch clipping through the wall there for a second, yeah. you good? <laughs> God, he's so annoying. He's going to the right, which is not too good for us. The eyeball is slowing down. That's a good sign. He's in the room to the right of us, looking round to the wall. Because I left the light on in there, I think. What is he doing? Alright, we know where he is. He's going to see us very easily here if we're not careful, alright? We're going to save and then we're going to leg it upstairs because we know he's not up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Yes. Alright, we saved the game. We have tons of saves as well right now. I mean, we shouldn't waste them. <laughs> well, we know he's not up on this floor. I know, but I know your mentality. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> you mean about the saves. Mm. All right. There should be something in here. I think in the closet at the back. I vaguely remember a giant baby. Oh, I hear the music puzzle going off. Accident report, March the 16th. On 15th, around 15th, around 9.50, there was a fire in the home economics room at Wyatt High School in Seoul, killing one female student. The fire damaged hundreds of dollars worth of property, but caused little structural damage. This was only a small fire that put out in a matter of minutes. The accident happened right after the end of night classes, so most students were at the building. But one student was killed while waiting for her mother. She was suffering from asthma, and the police believe she died from the asthma attack triggered by the sudden fire. The authorities are investigating further to determine her exact cause of death. You can hear the music puzzle going off. Mm. I'm not necessarily a fan of music puzzles. But I guess they're best better than like randomly generated ones. That's so creepy. Mm. That's not it. There you go. That was it. There we go. Piano bench key. Alright. We did it, baby. 
I'm losing my touch with music for sure. It's been so long. Alright, um... I think there should be a supply room here as well. Oh. Well then. Well, it's okay, because we got to do this. Oh, hang on. What's it under, do you think? Key items? Essential items. 4617. There you go. That's the code for this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is unprecedented. All right, we have all the bits of the picture now, so we need to go back down to the councillor's office and put the pieces together. Mm. Gotta try not to get caught. Yeah, that's gonna be the kicker here, is getting back there without getting caught. He's been here, that was closed. It's on 2F, the room with the picture, I think? I don't remember. The, 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 down. This one? No, no, I meant, I see him. Oh, well, <laughs> he's gone. There we go. That looks shit! Oh, he's right outside the room. Yeah. Picture of a man holding the vase. You might want to turn your light off, maybe. I'm in, I'm in trouble with everything. You are very much in trouble if he opens this door. He has no reason to, though. Why did he stop? He's right outside the door. <laughs> He's in the stairway to my right now, but I'm waiting for him to go down a floor or up a floor. Is he coming back? I can't tell. I can't tell. We need to get to the lost and found room, which is at the end of this floor, to get that vase now. I can't tell if he's just listening. He'll find out if the door throws open. So he was right here the whole time, by the way. There we go. The Marvars from the music teacher's thing, and we get the remote for the thing in the music room from inside here. Mm. Oh my god, that was actually really intense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we need to get back up to the music room, which in itself might be a considerable challenge, I'm not going to lie. That's on the third floor. We haven't done anything on the fourth floor yet. Third floor, music room, and the music supply room we need for the next lot of shit. It's too bad this place doesn't have elevators. Okay. Give me one second, sorry everyone. Mm. Alright. Well. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Well, I mean, that wasn't exactly the ideal situation, but at least I can loop him a bit. Oh, God. I wish he'd stop plowing his fucking thing, by the way. It's really annoying. Yeah. Fucking stupid doors in this game! Guys, I hate these doors! I hate these doors. 
I hate these doors. I hate these doors. I think you saw me go in here? I can't tell. The eye is like really wide, so. He's outside this room. Oh yeah, I think he saw you go in. No, it's going to closed. He's going back. He's leaving. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna wait till he's gone all the way down to the end and back in the end left, alright? Because we need to go into a room down where he went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> god, we're such pussies. <laughs> he actually literally pooed. Oh god. So come here often. All the time. Must be terrible. <laughs> I hate how long he sticks around. We have another timed event soon, by the way. But that makes him despawn, and then we can explore this whole building at our leisure after that. Mm. But we have to do the timed event first, obviously. <laughs> I think he's still on this floor. Okay. Which is a real problem, because I need to go to the fucking music room. That is so rude. He is such a rudekin. Maybe he left? I wasn't really paying attention. I need to get to that music room. No, he's coming back now. God, he's such a dickhead. Okay, he's going back past. We need to fucking save as well. Yeah. Once I've done the music room thing, we need to get to a save point, because then after that, the timed event starts, and I don't want to have to do this all again. Oh, there's his light. He, yeah, yeah, he was by done. the far door. Oh my god, just go! He's going, he's going. God, he's such a dickhead. It would be really nice if they had programmed it to be like after you have a near encounter, after like he goes away, he despawns for a little bit. Even if it's just like five minutes, you know? He's really, really obnoxious in this. And he's even worse than the next. There's next building, there's two of them at once. And there's other shit in the next building, right? There's the chick on the roof and stuff mm -hmm. in some rooms. Oh, great. Yeah. There's like murderous ghosts. I swear I heard him then and he shat myself. I think that was just the rumble of thunder. I got the That's art room key that was taped good thing to, to the do. back of the CD, by the way. That's not a good thing to do. Alright, now we're gonna save, we're gonna head to the art room, and we're gonna do the timed event, alright? Yes. And once that starts, he despawns, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. We can just charge around like an idiot. That will be very numb. But we need to get to a save point first without dying. There might be one on the fourth floor. I'm gonna go up and probably take a risk on that. Okay. Okay. There's not one here, I don't think. Oh, there is! Oh, oh that makes life a lot easier. That's pretty numb. Just gonna see if I hear. Oh, and he's here. He's right there. He went to the right. He must have heard me. 
I don't really know how, though. I'm actually pooping, baby. <laughs> Stop pooping. If I leg it, I could trigger the event and make him despawn. If I really needed to, okay? I have to go upstairs, though, and get into the art room. <laughs> he's going back. He's going back into there. He's such a fucking arsehole in this. <laughs> Please go downstairs. I can't tell if he's going down or up. I think he went up, and that's where we need to go. Baby, he went up. I know. He heard the door. Hi! He went down! Oh, woo! <laughs> Jonathan Chan, I'm doing nothing, alright? I'm just... Oh boy. Desperately oh boy. trying to open doors. GET FUCKED! <laughs> <laughs> He's still gonna be on my ass, I think, though. Unfortunately. I've gotta get into the art room and open this door in order to... trip to get rid of him. Or maybe not! <laughs> Well, that seems to have got rid of him. Okay, that's good. Art room. That's where we need to go. Oh, jeez. That's the key we got from the CD, by the way. Okay. This will trigger the event as timed, but we should be fine. Oh, huh. no. This is nothing compared to the janitor. I don't, I'm not scared of giant baby. You see? We need to go to the lost and found room, then back to the art room, then the science lab, and then uh, other stuff. We got five minutes to do it. The janitor better not be running around, or otherwise I'm gonna lose my mind. I believe in your brother. Maybe. God, this is incredibly fucking loud. Holy shit! Lost and found rooms right at the end of here. Then back up to the art room, and we use the kiln to like break it or some shit, from what I remember. And then we have to cool it off after we've baked it. Pick it up, dickhead. What the fuck? There we go. Dry clay doll. Back up to the kiln. Okay, then. I'm not sure why it doesn't want the doll as it is. I think there's something inside it. I don't know why we didn't just smash it though. I don't. I, don't, I can't remember. But the Bev is very grumpy, okay? We don't really understand. It is a very grumpy baby. Very grumpy. I would say probably one of the grumpiest Bebbies in video game history, if I'm honest with you. I think this is the kiln. Maybe. What do I do? Okay. Apparently it's doing it for me. I'm very glad for that. <laughs> All right, gotta wait. I would not think to do this while no. there is a giant demonic baby screaming. I don't know if you want to touch it. Fired clay doll. How are you touching it? <laughs> I don't know. We need to go to the science lab on the floor underneath us now, and call it off in the only working sink in the building. Remember that note? God. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's go. That's not funny. Hey, uh, it's to me, and that's all that ultimately matters here. Because <laughs> they'll be like, I think it's cute that that Chrism Chrism is bullish you when you when you say soy. It's a Simpsons reference, everyone. By the way, the best episode of The Simpsons. All right, which sink is it? Fuck. We have a nice little bath. It's okay. I still, still don't know how we carried this. I don't even really understand what we're doing here, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> but it's whatever. Alright, take this back up to the bebe and we're done. But there's a quick time event where I might fuck up. It's too bad you can't save it for time. Like, you know. Oh, this is the wrong way. So there's something they did here that I'm annoyed about. Mm -hmm. They removed the drops. They used to be able to run up the stairs, then drop down the floor without the walls, but there's no there's there's walls in this version. Oh. Like on the on the original. I've got to be really careful here because you can get killed if you get if you go too close as well. Oh, let's read the no. As soon as I get the prompt, I've got to 
Did I just die? I don't know. I might have died. Okay, quick time. Okay. Just give it the fucking doll. It's a shite animation <laughs> with the baby closing the door. <laughs> Whatever, the baby's gone. It's fine now. All right. It's Valentine's Day. He seemed like he enjoyed the chocolates, even though he said otherwise. It's not even 100 days yet, but I feel like we've known each other for a long time. I hope this doesn't change. We know we love each other, but it's nerve-wracking sometimes. Are other people like us too? I've caught a cold. I called him. Hearing him start angry startled me, but also made me happy. It came off awkwardly cute that someone like him, who rarely shows emotion, was worried about me, but is screaming, Why the hell did you get sick? The only way to express your concern. I wonder if I got fat during the winter. I'm now 65 pounds. Mm -hmm. I feel all flooded lately. He made fun of me for my weight gain. He didn't make it sound so bad. What I'm really upset about is the fact that he doesn't express his emotion. Blah. Everyone's still getting used to the new term, but they all look happy. It's good seeing everyone again, talking and laughing together. But it was impossible to see him once school started. We both knew we were busy because of the schoolwork, and it didn't stop me from missing him. Lately I feel sluggish. I think I didn't get enough exercise during the winter break. All the kids were buzzing over Gwem Jin all day. I think her boyfriend snuck into school last night to leave her a box of candy. Damn the girl. She's practically been glowing with glee all day. I know I shouldn't feel this way, but I feel annoyed at her. He didn't do anything for me. I was so sad I could die. It's too early to call it spring, I think. I'm down with the cold. My body's out of whack. I mean, I'm a senior after all, but still. I talked to him on the phone today. He said something about Judas as a student and whatnot. He meant that we need to take a break from seeing each other. I feel suddenly scared. I'm scared I'll never see him again. The midterm schedule is set. Today is our 100th day anniversary. We didn't even get to talk on the phone. I'm sure he's busy, but desperately need to hear his voice and see his smiling face. I can hardly control my emotions. I keep thinking about killing myself. With a sense of dread, I ran the pregnancy test. The result wasn't what I hoped it would be. Having a new life inside me was scary, but in a way it made me feel better. I'm worried about his reaction. Should I tell him? Maybe he will take more interest in me, but at the same time, wouldn't I be a burden to him? His reaction was unexpectedly cold and scary. He even threatened that he will never see me again if I didn't lose the baby. It scared me to death. But I'll give birth to this baby no matter what. I'm thankful for the new life inside me. I will keep it even if I have to die. I can't stop looking at the cover of the art book. It's a picture of a clay doll of a woman with her baby holding hands. I guess okay. this is the woman who... That is the result of this haunting, right? I thought this was a Teletubby for a minute, but it's not. Because <laughs> you see from a distance. Yeah, I can kind of see it. <laughs> But um, I think that was meant to be uh, your clue if you didn't know what to do. Yes. There you go. I got the way out this floor. But we can now check out a few more rooms and stuff. And look out for, look, just check for supplies without threat of the janitor because he'll have oh fucked up. God. Oh my god. We're here. Let's open this door, but I'm kidding. Questioned why these random seals were around school. So young, so young. Hey, so young Han. <sighs> okay, so this fucking um. Oh, okay, here we go. Go after her. There you go. Ignore her. Ignore the other girl. Okay, I was meant to do that. Don't worry. We're on the right route still, guys. So there's a ghost here that can really fuck you up and kill you if you're not careful. Because as you can tell, Bebe Numkin, this is not a normal path. No, I don't know what you If you turn about. round here, like, there's a ghost that'll come for you, basically. But you might have to be on a certain route. This game is so specific in everything, you know. I mean, maybe we've just been lucky. Or unlucky, depending on your point of view. I do like the character That's models in this. It's time, but Ji Hyun isn't here. You think something happened to her? Are you worried about Ji Hyun? Well, yeah, I'm worried. But something's off. And then there's you. I... I just want to help you. Tell me, why are you so nice to me? Alright, deny it all you want. 
but your actions are definitely affecting something. Well, Wait, this it... just might work in my favor anyway. Well, I'm glad I'm being helpful at least. Okay, now we have to buy our coffee. Don't be too nice to me. Listen, I think that I need to go search for some kind of clue. Let's stick together. The new building is divided into the yellow, red, and blue sections. To open each door, you need a key card that matches that section's color. You're going to need to remember that. I always get by this section because the janitor will open the door and I'll just hoof it through. <laughs> This one's open. Let's take a break in here. It's been two seconds. <sighs> I'm thirsty and tired. All right, I need to buy her a coffee. Is there a vending machine in here? No, of course there isn't. One, just wait there, all right? Ah ha ha ha. Um, oh, hang on, I need to put money in first, it looks like. Which of these are coffee? I get. I think these are coffee. I would assume, hopefully. Yeah, milk coffee. Don't use the item. It costs one coin. Okay, that's reasonable. Oh, is that for me? Oh. Did you want some of it? <sighs> Give back the diary. Uh, I'd forgotten about this. Thank you for returning it. It means quite a lot to me. Come to think of it, I don't even know your name. This is overdue, but I'm So Young Han. Oh my god, that op that second option, what a fucking op- <laughs> I'm Heeman Lee, it's nice to meet you. Mm-hmm, you too. I think I've rested long enough. Let's move on. Were you supposed to look around this room while she was- No. Because I noticed something. New buildings noticed. The installation of light fixtures in the main hall was completely was completed during... Oh my god, I remember this. We had to turn lights on to overload the circuit so a fuse blows and a key falls out of light. <laughs> it was completed during winter break. However, the contractors did a horrible job and there was a risk of the wires shorting out. The repair work's been scheduled to take place during summer break. Please take a moment to read the problem at hand and temporarily solution listed below. Ensure that all students are aware of this issue. If the power switch in the electrical room is turned on while the lights are on for certain classrooms, the light fixtures will blow out. The following classrooms must take caution. 1, 5, 8, 10, and 12. If the lights in these classrooms continually go off automatically, try turning on the lights in a specific order. 1, 5, 8, 10, 12. It's been reported the lights will turn off automatically if the lights are turned off in the preceding classrooms. Also, the janitor turns them off while you're doing this, which is even worse. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we have to talk to her again. What's up? Do we know where we're going? That's that there is the toilet where you use the glitch to get away in the other game. Mm. I have no idea where I'm taking her. I don't know, but, but we can't open any of the coded doors, so I guess we're quite restricted in where we can go at the moment. So, and she is following us, so that's a good start. Nope. Need the key cards. I have no idea what I'm doing here. We don't have a map either, do we? Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Uh, I guess here. Yeah. The school's history room. They say they built this to celebrate the proud history of the school. 
chairman built it to somehow mask this girl's terrifying past. The story works may more sense if you do her route. <laughs> Let's go in. Like, I had abs this is the first time I've ever understood the plot of this game. Like, ever. Hey, are you okay? Are you hurt? Look at the other option. Oh God. Mm -hmm. I'm all right. Let's use that key card to open the second floor hallway door. Okay, yellow key card. That's not. I told you about the new building's key card, right? Yes, you have. Yeah, but this is the so normally I just get like a mismatch of conversations with the girls, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Without any real coherence between anything that's going on with random girls at random times. You'll be able to head towards the main hall if you have that card. I'm well aware, that's where we're going. We better look for other clues over there. And that's fine. I'm finding all this random shit that I have no idea what it's for. <laughs> I will say it's nice to be able to uh, like be here without immediately being pursued by the janitor. I know he'll be coming soon, but it's way better than like you know potential other things. Be nice to figure out where a save point is in this building though as well. You know, to retreat to in a blind panic when we inevitably get chased hundreds of times. Just unlocking the doors while I can, because if I need to run into one. No, I understand. I just like saying shoo. 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 Double. Okay, yeah, she does walk really fucking slowly. Yeah, I never had to worry about this before because I've never had a character accompany. And oh, there's a save point right here. There's the key in the light that we need. Take a look up there. Is that a key? I think it's the key to the roof. Why is that there, though? I think that it would be better if we split up for now. You go ahead and check out the rooms that open with that key card. Please be careful. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna go back and check out some of the rooms over here. Oh no. The key to the new building's rooftop is hanging in the main hall's light fixture. The fact this is a note! <laughs> we suspect this is a malicious prank by some students. We urge the head teachers of each grade to catch the culprits. We were calling someone to remove the keyboard. Just get the janitor to do it! He's obviously here all the fucking time. Well, I don't think the janitor necessarily has a ladder that fucking tall. It's very high up, Bubba. They probably have to call in, like, someone with a cherry lift or something. I think he's above me. Whatever happens, I'm in the shit here anyway. This is the hardest part of the game. Yeah, I vaguely remember this, like, making you insane. It, it's not as bad in the HD remake, I will say that, uh, because the janitor does give up when you do various points of the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. I need to get in the room he's right in front of, by the way. Oh, no. I think he's headed. Yeah, I've got a plan. I'm going to just kite him around in a circle, because when I get in that room, a cutscene's going to start, and it'll make him fuck off. I like his little whistle, actually. <laughs> it's a different dude to the other one. I mean, it's the same model. Just with a hat. The hat makes all the difference, Numkin. 
I mean, from this far away. Which way is he going? If he goes right, I can just like. Please go right. Oh yeah. He's gonna go up again, isn't he? And then come down that staircase and see me. Maybe you can manage it. Maybe. Oh, you little shit. You didn't see me. Yeah, he did it. No, you, yep, 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 yep. Where's the fucking scanner? How do I open this door? I need to open the fucking door somehow. This one, this one. You, you. I'm really busy right now, game. No, I, d I think you did. Okay, I had no idea he could kill you while you were doing that, because every time the time it's paused when you do something. You might just have to wait him out, honey. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Now I remember why I can't hide anywhere either. I'm pretty doomed at the moment. He's so slow too, I just want to go and look at the fucking rooms down there, Jesus Christ! But why are you so high? I think that actually is the room. It's got four doors it looks like. Big waste of supplies there. I mean, you could have tried just using the one. Well, one was to calm my nerves so I didn't faint. Why oh. did I do that? Why did you do that? He's in the room with you. Yep. I just got a checkpoint. <laughs> oh my god, it triggered the coffin! <laughs> oh, thank fuck! We got a boss fight. Fucking arsehole! I've got to put them where they are in the mirror. And I've got to do that like a bunch of times. Oh! You cheating fuck! Pick it up! Oh, it's the wrong place. I'm gonna die here a few times, by the way. This is very difficult. Because he is so fast compared to you. Yeah, I can't even move at the moment. Yeah, game over. At least it's saved beforehand. Yeah. This game, this building is the by far the worst part of the game. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't even notice that one had been blown off. When did that happen? There you go, two. Pick it up! Oh my god, the controls! It's like playing on ice! Where's the other one? I can't even tell where the other one is in the picture. Oh, it's here. Got it? Yes! Yeah, we did it! Get fucked. Get fucked, other me. You little bitch, baby. Right. So. Giant is going to come in here, probably, but we do have the red key card now. That's good. All right, fantastic. Now we need to go up to the fourth floor and the library doors. You might want to find some place to save first. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not actually sure that's a good idea, but we'll see. Well, I don't know. Why can't... These doors are like fake doors! That is really obnoxious. Oh, there he is. He's gonna see you 100%. I want this. I don't care about anything else, I want this. Okay. You think I should heal? I'm pretty fucked. I think you should heal. Oh, 
Oh, my milk's gone, Bubba. I was enjoying that. Well, I know. But... You were dying. There is a save point directly. Imagine saving there. That sounds like such a terrible idea. He's down here. third because it says three nine yeah I would assume so we're just gonna lay low okay yeah maybe don't hug the side so much maybe I'm gonna pick up the coin just fair I know did you see it I know I see it just be very careful <laughs> Maybe I should buy some heels, I don't know. I mean, you probably should. It's too late now, I left the vending machine behind. <laughs> and I'm too scared to go back in case he wants food suddenly. Yeah. But I think that might be one of the reasons you have some troubles. Because I think the game wants you to use items more. That's unacceptable, though. I mean, it's very rude, to be fair. I picked up the red keycard, didn't I? Yes. I should just unlock as many doors as I can. Yes. I think he heard me. Yes, he might have. We still need the blue key card before we can properly do this bit anyway. Yeah. There's a save point here. If I can get to it, I can save. That'd be very normal, I think. Yeah. I, know, I know we have limited saves, but I don't think you want to do that music thing again. No, I think I'd rather actually die. No, you're not allowed. I don't want to go past him down there I again I can't either. be a single mum. That would be very sad, that's true. I have three saves left. Okay, we gotta be very sparing. Th there must be some more in this building, but yeah. I'm gonna open all these doors. While well, he's not around to kill me. Yeah. He's probably gonna hear you though. These doors are so rude being so loud. Just so loud and so fun. So loud and bum. There's this one. Oh my god. It might have made more sense to try to unlock all the doors and then save. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh no! Okay. I've got to turn the light off. Um. I think this is right. Oh, hang on. It's missing fuses. Okay. I think this is right. Okay. But I'm not sure. I oh, know. Yeah, this is right. Okay. I trust you, Bubba. I need to go in the library now, which is right here, I think. Yes. The gun might be in here, though, the, the bum one. You know which one I mean. Oh, there's a heat safe. She doesn't seem to be in here. Alright, what the fuck is this? I have no idea what I just did. I mean, there's a cutscene, so... Library rules, Plark. Okay. Oh. 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 Cunning. Oh, really? <laughs> 
Hang on, I meant to do this myself. Yeah. There we go. Creepy girl doesn't seem to be. Oh, cutscene. Okay, calm down. Do not tell me to calm down! Just stay back! What's happening? I'm scared. I'm just so scared. Everyone's acting strange. So young lied to me and said she never called. And she keeps looking for her dead sister. And Sonya keeps following So Young, getting all worked up. And then she disappears. And I keep seeing these impossible, creepy things. It's all because of this place. This cursed school is making all this happen. You know something, don't you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Please leave me alone. Just leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone. Get out. We, we, we're ending our possible relationship with her, by the way, to lock us into the main route. A yin-yang symbol. More investigation is needed to confirm what actually happened, but I was locked in the dark due to the power outage in the music appreciation room. When I started to lose my sense of direction and began to feel a short chill, I observed a bright light emitting from the bag with a yin-yang token in it. I might have been seeing things from focusing too hard on the investigation, but it was nonetheless a magical experience. So we need to use this as a light source to defeat a bumpkin, by the way. Which is what we're going to go and do now. The janitor is definitely going to be in the way. But before we do that, we're going to do something to prepare for later on. And make our lives a little bit easier. Okay? Yes. He's on this floor. Oh! Why is he on this floor? I need to do this now, or I'm dead. Oh, no. no. no I'm alright, I'm alright. Hi. Mm. Only one hit, that's not too bad. Okay. I've got to get away from him though, otherwise everything we just did is undone. Oh no. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that either. The music appreciation room might work, but I'm also, it also might kill me, so I don't know. If we can get to the second floor, I could probably make it to the toilets or some shit, okay? Okay. I think that's the best plan I've got right now. But I'm going to start running out of stamina quick. He's right up my ass. Oh, maybe not? Did I lose him? Nope. I know where I'm going. It's a question of whether I faint before I get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will get rid of him? Where is it? It's right there. It was in the seat. Wait, is that what you're looking for? Or are you looking for something else? I think I'm looking for her. <laughs> this is different to what I remember. You gotta get the light on her before she says. She gets faster, you see. Yeah, this is different. Did you die? What did that kill me? I think you. I guess I wasn't close enough any time there. Either that or you were too close that time. Yeah, that's true. It's one or the other. We know we can get rid of the janitor now at least. Yeah. 
Oh, oh. that's bullshit! <laughs> it's saved here after I taken the massive damage. Well. Uh, wait, what happened to all your soy? It undid it, I guess. I guess we'll find out in a minute. No, that's it. Okay, yeah, you have to be... Close. Yeah. Yeah, I fucked up before. Okay. I guess you fucked up that time. It's alright. Because it resets it. Did your damage get reset? It damaged me, yeah. No, no, no. I meant, did your damage get reset? I healed. Oh. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I didn't register that. We did it. Okay, now check your inventory again. Oh no, there's the soy. I miss, I miss, um... Soy. I miss... I, I mistook that icon for something else. That's fine. Uh, we got we got some more heals in here as well, which is good. Would love some more saves. Mmm. Why is it not working, Baby Numkin? I don't understand. Possibly. We need this dry belt. And we took the tape out again, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Just want to check, because this is actually where you play it. Essential items, just want to check. Yeah, we still got the black mask tape. Okay, good. More dealing with the janitor now? Oh, great. He's such a nice guy. He's outside this room. Yeah. The light's on, he's gonna come in, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, you could have turned the light off. I was a bit late. <laughs> God, I wish he'd just fuck off. <laughs> we need to get to the language lab. So, where the fuck is that? Okay, we've already opened it, it's a yellow keycard room. We just need to get to it. It's on 2F. Then, I think we get the blue keycard. Which is good. He's such a dick! Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, I'm so dead. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? There's no way I'm getting away from this. Are you goddamn <laughs> kidding me? He's got, like, why laser is he, vision. Why is she patrolling inside of an open room? I don't know. I'm so, I'm so done. Do you game? Oh, bib, 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 bib. Yes? You didn't pick up the ting. I did. I picked it up off camera just now when you weren't looking at the screen. <laughs> it's gone, see? Oh, no. You looked away. I mean, to be fair, we have been sitting here for about oh, ten fuck, minutes. Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ, yeah, I know. <laughs> Have one of my soys. I have to do this. I have to play the tape in here, okay? Okay. I don't think one. Oh. Okay, stop being such a fucking bitch. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Okay. That's the voice of that girl. Who are you? Why are you here this late? This looks suspiciously like the guy who killed himself. Alright, so the options are, who are you? I'm the night duty teacher. Yeah, bullshit. Look, I don't know why you're here. But here's the key card. That leads outside. 
Be careful. It's no fucking shit. Night. night is when the dead ones come to life. I'm more worried about the living one, to be oh, honest with you. Yeah. He's such a prick. Why are you telling me this? I just hope you don't make the same mistake I made. Get out of here before it's too late. Yeah, he's definitely dead already. Mm -hmm. Or you'll get trapped in this school forever, too. Alright, we have the final key card now. I swear to God, if you opening that door made that bastard come look for me, I'm going lab, to find you road. and kill you again myself. Oh, another cutscene. I can't find any clues. And I think we're completely stuck here. Did my sister get stuck too? Do you know the reason I'm here? No, because well, I'm not fucking psychic. It's for my sister. You've heard the rumors about me. How <laughs> I had a sister. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of rumors, isn't that just a fact? My sister killed herself two years ago at the school. There had to have been a reason, but no one ever bothered to find out. Why did she kill herself? I'm not really sure, but I think it involves her friend. I used to hear her yelling in her room at night. When I eavesdropped, it sounded like she was talking on the phone. Then, when my sister died, I wanted to find out who those calls were with. I feel so bad for her. She must have had some kind of reason. But no one knows. I can't even help her move on. Her hands are massive. <laughs> to be fair, if I saw this unfolding in front of me, I'd be like, why are you fake crying? <laughs> talked about this with anyone before now. This is like a crime interrogation interview. Let's go now. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? At least it's a cutscene this time. It's all right. Why can't we do that? How did you open the door without the fucking symbol? Oh, is he gonna be on my ass immediately? Yep. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm so fed up with this fucker! Hang on, did he just... He's still chasing you, but... You, maybe you uh, get a little bit of leeway because it's a story thing? I'm going to my usual place, alright? Because I need to get into the room opposite. I need to get into the computer lab here, this room here. Mm-hmm. Well, guess we're gonna go back down here and crouch behind the thing in here again, guys, for a while. So fun. Oh my god, Windows Me. Oh I'm my god, serious. I just realized this is a joke in the guide. Right, we're using. Obviously, uh -huh. we're using a guide. Go to the computer room and inspect the computer. These poor students using Windows Me. That is the true terror of this game. That's what it says. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> so I didn't even need to go in here. There might be a heal or something, though. Oh, there's a safe. Oh, good. That's worth it. Yeah, but Jesus was... Christ. <laughs> Do it. Oh my god! It's so broken, it's unbelievable. I think we're fucked. He did, but uh, I'm in the room now and I'm dead. Duck. <gasps> did he lose me? Probably not. Please go away. That'd be so good if you went away. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> I can't tell if he's just staring at the door or something. I'm not moving till the ice gone. <laughs> All right, so very quickly. 
so I, once I flick the switch here, yeah, mm. I need to do classrooms one, which is three one, I guess, uh, three five, three eight, three ten, and three twelve. So they're only on two floors, and that should solve the puzzle, okay? Mm hmm. And then, if that fails, I need to go around and make sure no lights are on anywhere else. And then we have to do the clock puzzle too, which is awful. <laughs> it's whistling again! Sounds... He closed the door. I, I would not do this while I could still hear the whistling. Okay. One, five, eight, ten, and twelve in that order, okay? Well done. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh god. I think he's right outside the door. He's above me. Where we need to go, of course he is. Why would he be anywhere else? <laughs> He's directly above. What are the room numbers? One, five, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. I hate you so much. He's there. What was that? I don't know, but it does it every time I walk past that bit, but for some reason he didn't hear it this time. <laughs> he definitely heard it before. One is on the- one is the last one on the right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Problem is, he's gonna go and try and turn them off. But I'm not sure he can once I flick that switch. It's the, it's the hair girl in here, I just realized shit. Quickly. Where is he? I can't Directly tell. under me. Okay. Five is across the way. I may need to just hoof it. If, if he sees me, I'm just gonna just try and hoof it, okay? He's directly under me still. Which is actually in my advantage right now. Mm. Is this five? Yep. Yeah. she in here? No. Where's eight? Next floor. They're all three are on the next floor. Oh shit. This is eight. Just gonna hoof it, okay? Mm-hmm. Ten. Must be this one. Oh, you should check. Are you fucking he's so fast! That might not have been ten, right? Yeah, that's why I said you should check first. It was ten. Okay, good. We've got one left. Otherwise, and if this if I fucks up, I'm dead. But that's fine. It's this one here. Oh god! Oh god! Please play. Oh! Oh god! Well, nope. the cutscene isn't playing, so I don't know what's going on. Yes! Oh my god! We did it! That took twenty-five <laughs> minutes straight. And it's only one of three puzzles in this section, but we did it. We fucking did it. Please, auto save, please. It did not, and he's here.
Baby, I'm so scared. Yeah. We need to get past... We need to get the item, get mm -hmm. away from him, get a save point. Yeah. And then I have to do the time puzzle. <laughs> so fun! <laughs> Can't wait! He's going to be right looking at me, isn't he? Probably. You probably won't have seen it because we'll probably have cut it out. But this guy has been doing this thing where he'll just stand still in one place. Waiting for us. Waiting for us. <laughs> There's a save point there. Fuck you. Don't care. <laughs> oh, thank fuck. Um. Ah! Are you kidding me? He homes! He's like a homing pigeon! <laughs> Don't care, I saved. We never have to do the light again. Fuck you. <laughs> this has been such a fucking train wreck to record. I can't actually believe it's real. No, he's seen you, surely. No. <laughs> no. I want a drink. Well, you have a drink. Yeah, I'm just, I was on the floor. I didn't want to, like, look away and reach for it. Oh. <laughs> I hate seeing his light through the wall because you know you're fucked. Yeah. All right. Now we need to find the room with Greenwich as the picture and get our base time to set the other three clocks to. Okay? This is so stupid. And they're in horrible rooms that he is going to be walking through all the time. And as you're, he'll, he can still kill you while you're using them. Of course he can. But once we've done that, okay, we get the thing for the roof. And once we're done with the roof, he's gone. That's not true. There's a quick time event first, I just realized. But after that, he's gone. I feel like I'm losing my mind. The timestamps for this episode are gonna be a mess. Just ignore that. Just just cancel timestamps. I'll do this on my own back. It's just too. There's too much to fucking deal with, you know. I'll at least put in when we solved the light. That's helpful, yeah. You guys get to hear a little bit of background of how we work on these. <laughs> This is Greenwich, so this is the default. So this is the most important one. It is 1 p.m. in Greenwich, okay? And here is the note again about world time zones. Okay, so Washington is GMT minus three, which actually isn't true. Moscow is GMT plus three, again, which isn't true. Uh, but Beijing, I think, might be GMT plus eight, but that's entertaining. What room is this? Uh, this is the Earth Science Lab. We can look at that note whenever we want, for reference at least now. Okay, art studio. We can do this one right now. Moscow. So it's GMT plus three. So what was the time? In Greenwich, it's 1 p.m. Okay, so GMT plus three so is going to be four, right? Yes. That means it's 4 p.m. in Moscow. Let's go and do Beijing. Beijing is plus eight, so it's nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the occult club finally, which is gonna be minus three. I'm gonna save again here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? That's a ghosty. It's 
gonna scream in your face. I don't think you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Where's the clock? It's on that side of the wall. There we go. There we go. Jesus. This is in this room, by the way, as well, I think. All right, nearly done with this building. Okay. Dowsing rods, spirit bell, roof, here we come. Bye. <laughs> if we get to the roof, he can't do anything to us, okay? Yes. <laughs> this bit sucks as well, though. Oh, boy. This takes so long to do. All right, I'm sorry, guys, by the way, if our attitude is a bit negative. We have been recording for 46 minutes and made about five minutes of progress uh, because the janitor has been chasing us the entire time. Hi! Hello! All right, so you can't see the enemy here. And we have to find a way across the roof without dying. Which we all know is very non, right? Yep. Nope. <gasps> oh! Um... That seems a little bit bullshit to me. I mean, Unless that's like a jump scare? Nope, that is not a jump scare. That is a quick I have never seen this before, ever. Okay. All I've right. never seen that happen before. Uh, I'm I gonna think, heal. I think we're I think we're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I've gotta go really slow. Are you fucking kidding? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I have no idea what to do here. Why well, do? You. I know that this is really shit. It checkpointed when we came up here, though, so. I feel like we're just going back and forth on the same oh, bit. Oh, I see her. Yeah, I see her too. It doesn't matter where she is, though. It's just the, the question of the path. The problem is, I feel like we're just going... Not making any progress. Yeah. It is what it is. What can you do, huh? Why? Oh, such bullshit. Yeah, this took me nearly an hour last time, just this bit. Mm -hmm. um, so we could be here a while. This is by far the worst part of the game. Like, it's unbelievably awful. Mm -hmm. You said that about a lot of things, but... Well, this whole section, this whole building is just broken. This whole building was a bad idea. I think this is actually right. I think we have to go, like... Hi! Oh, there she is. We're gonna get another. Oh, she, so that's that's new. That never was in it before. That made they made it even harder than they had before. Yeah, there's no way I'm surviving this. So it doesn't matter if you get it wrong. She's gonna hit you anyway. Yeah, if you're in her path. She will get you. Yeah, but you can't run away! I feel like we just hit another dead end here. There's 
so sensitive, it's unbelievable. Yeah. She seems to go around the outside. Mm -hmm. Like Eminem. I feel like we are making progress, maybe? Very hard to tell. I wonder though. if the path is only building as soon as you hit the necessary bit. It does feel like we're making a little bit of progress, even if we're going back on ourselves constantly. Potentially. She's going to get me again here, by the way, if I have to go this way. It's like the path's a zigzag. Yeah. Oh, this is stressful as fuck, by the way. <gasps> oh, God. I guess she just walked into us there. Yeah. I was doing it way in advance this time. Yeah. Oh, we're so close. Oh, this is such bullshit. Oh, my God. She's definitely going to grab us more. Yeah. You know what? I have to say, though. It's rare, but you were right. You were right to invest in all of those single you soy milks. Oh, careful. Don't get greedy. Oh! oh. Drain the fucking pool. We're not done yet, by the way. This is going to immediately go into a chase sequence. Well, I, there was something you could have picked up. I have to pick it up in a minute. Don't worry. Okay. Get fucked, whoever you are. The mermaid, I guess, well, is It's be. clearly a mermaid. Oh, boo-hoo. You fucking died. Suck a dick. <laughs> that actually could be very useful. And there's something on that side, too. Over here? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We can go back and combine that to open lockers and things if you wanted. But it's mainly for alternative endings and shit. Okay. I'm terrified about taking damage I was there. I mean, I don't blame you. Alright. We're not quite done, but we're getting there. So close. Because of what I did earlier, hopefully this will be a lot easier than it was before, actually. Than it has been previous times for me. Okay, he's below us. I need to get down to that floor, though. Because <laughs> of course I do. Actually, what floor is the thing on? It's down there. Oh, no. There's a save point here. I'm going to save. Okay. Yeah. I think we are this one. running very low on saves, though. Yeah, we have two left. But there's a bunch in the building. Yeah. And once the janitor's gone, it's going to be a lot easier to get it. Yeah. I don't care about pissing him off too much here. I've just got to get to the thing because it'll trigger a big cutscene. Mm-hmm. He's coming Guys. directly my way. All of you Nokins, you, you, I know you're paying us to do this essentially, but you're lucky we love you. This has been one of the worst ones, actually. I didn't, I've forgotten how bullshit this is, this building. I mean, honestly, nothing will compare to Ghost, Ghost Hunter, Hunter because we had to replay the, basically the entire game like three times. So I, in my opinion, nothing will compare to that, even this, <laughs> but... Should have checked if the chick was in here, shouldn't I first? I haven't seen much of her, though. I mean, please don't tempt fate. This has already been up bad enough. This has been nearly an hour, by the way, of nothing. <laughs> we'll probably get, like, 20 minutes. If that, out of this video. <laughs> He's right outside the door. I'm trying to wait for him to fuck off to make my type a little bit easier. I was wondering if she'd spawned in here. Oh god. I'm gonna open the door and he's gonna be standing there, isn't he? He'll know. He knows! He does. <laughs> <laughs> he's right outside! He saw something across the map that wasn't- that I left the other door open, I think. <laughs> what?! 
He's such a prick! It's fine. It's fine. I can run away anytime I want. It's fine. Alright, you ready? Because this is where it's going to get even more bullshit than it already did, by the way. It gets worse. Are you fucking so me sideways with a chainsaw? I've never seen that happen before. I thought the cut the cutscene was about to play. I didn't think he'd take. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, time for time for bullshit. You ready? For primi primo bullshit. Oh my god. Let me through! I must get in! Kill them! My daughter's in there. Kill them all. Kill all of them. Let go of me! No! no! I mean, he's not holding you at all. <laughs> you killed her. You killed my daughter! You're just like them. Mm. That's a bit mean. Why? Tell me why my daughter had to die. It's your turn. Suffer like my this. Child. This sucks. This whole sequence sucks. <laughs> oh God. All right, I need to heal because I'm going to take random damage as I run here. I am nearly out of heals, but. <laughs> We'll just wing it. Well, we are out of heels. <laughs> we are out of heels. <laughs> but it's okay. Probably. I just had to get to the top and sound the alarm. And hopefully, I prepped it right and the alarm's gonna already have the fuse in it. So all I have to do is one button press. Okay? Mm hmm. She's faster than you, by the way. She'll stab you a few times usually. Oh, I'm running out of stamina as well because my character is a fucking idiot. I mean. Not really about your intelligence at that point. It's <laughs> you ready for this? Okay. We're so close. It's right there. Don't pass out. No. Oh my god. I don't remember this. Oh, I didn't even need to do it. That must have been a change. Oh well. Goodbye! Yay! Oh, it's not yay. My child, I will always protect you. I mean, you didn't, though. <laughs> Why do they always have it that people's legs hey, end up in that- what's going on? I heard something fall. <gasps> it was your fault. <laughs> the, the woman is Jam. Okay, she tried to kill me. I'm glad you're not hurt. Thank goodness. We don't have time for this. I heard a scream coming from the lecture hall. I think it was so young. I thought you hated her. I'll go look for Jihyun. You go ahead. Okay, so now guys, we can explore this entire building and loot everything, which is what we're going to do now, off camera, before we continue into the final area. Alright, baby. Uh, uh, do you, do you... What? You started me! Oh, we've reached endgame, baby. We have. Let's go. Into the auditorium. I call bullshit. She's fine. No, I mean, that's the whole point. That's why I'm calling bullshit. Hey, at least there's no more stealth. Like, fuck. There's only death from here on out. <laughs> and running. I mean, it's not much different from how we've been playing the game. I mean, you're not wrong, actually. I can accept that as a thing. An <laughs> ominous silence fills the auditorium. Oh, it's too dark. I have a lighter, right? Yeah, you do. There we go. The lights move from a control from the projection booth. That's where we need to go first. 
just happens to be right here. At least I think so. Mm. Oh, it's on the top floor. That's what I was... Okay. This is confusing. This layout's confusing, baby. Oh, a tranquilizer. I'm probably going to need as many of those as possible at this point. To be, f How do I run and how do I put my thing away? Okay, you can't run with it out. That's why. I've never been through this door. This is where the labyrinth is. It's through that door. Okay. Okay, but it's dependent on what we things we do in order. Okay? Mm -hmm. If we do them out of order, we're fucked, basically. To put it politely. Well, do we have another save? <laughs> no. How do I get to the projection booth? I guess it's just along here, right? I mean, it should yeah. be. It's just, this is it. Oh my god. Before we have a look, let's have a look around here in case there's anything of... No, we've got a document. Fred Sal! There's fire extinguishers here. I wonder if we're going to need them. Oh, the pipe needs a valve as well. Can't wait for this. Ha 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 ha. They're so young! There's someone on the stage. Oh my god, but who could it be? Even though I just said who it was. <laughs> it just seems anything like hiding in here, you know what I mean? Mm. You never know, you know what I mean? You never know. You never know, Numkin. That's what they say. Is that what they say? I don't really know who says that, to be honest with you. Can we get through here or not? Yeah, I'm just going to quit look around before we trigger everything in the world at this point. If you can't tell, Minx is not looking forward to this. I got... Last time I did this bit, I streamed it, mm -hmm. and I nearly quit the stream. <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's, it's not, like, super difficult. I have done it a few times now. It's just fiddly. Like, I think that's the main problem with this game, is it's just really fiddly. Mm. Like, nothing feels smooth. Everything just feels off. You know? Yeah. Like, not in a fun way. Not in a, like, oh, this is surreal way. It's more just like, oh. Just seems anything in here. I don't think there is. Alright, we're going downstairs now. So we're going to check out the downstairs first and drop a save before we think. There's a switch in the auditorium, main room. We have to switch to trigger anything bad. Uh, so as soon as we hit that, that's when we're fucked. All right. Oh, there's a shiny over there, baby. Did you see it? Oh, my God. I see nothing but doom and gloom. We're going to drop and, it. And maybe... Actually, wait a second. And maybe some soup. I oh, shit. Soup. I already triggered it. Uh, well, guess we're not saving. There's auto saves, don't worry, it's fine. No! We go through this every time there's an auto save in a fucking game! Oh, I can save here now. <laughs> we go through this so many times. You don't rely on the auto save if you have an option. I rely on the auto save. Cut back now. Oh my god. We're in here. And there's a switch. And we flick the switch. What and gym oh has God. doors that lock in the fucking toilets from the fucking main door? Sorry. We spent quite a long time running around there, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Just a bit. Which door was it? I guess it must be this one. Please be this one. <laughs> it's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Binomkin. Mm -hmm. That's short for Bebe Numkin, by the way. Mm -hmm. Why does this game hate us so much? I don't know, really. Maybe it really we, does, doesn't maybe, it? Maybe because we don't... Oh, no. no it doesn't well, matter. time for it to go to shit. No. God, I hate the sounds in this section. They just reminded me how much I hate them. Do you like time sections? Because we now have two time sections back to back. What fun. Wow. 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 Give me one second. I, I need a moment to compose myself. All right. Okay. You ready? 
I'm not ready, apparently, because it won't let me get back in the game. Oh, did that hurt? There yeah, we go. just started with something. Somewhere in here, there's fire extinguishers. Oh. oh, boy. Like, I'm not too worried about her. She isn't that annoying in the grand scheme of things. But I've got to find a fire extinguisher in this room, and I can't. So this is a good start, though. I mean, it's been two seconds. We have 9 minutes 33 seconds. Okay, that's, that's minutes. It's been a couple of seconds. 9 seconds. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, God, I didn't expect quick time events, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, get that. Get it. Hi. Goodbye. All right, now I need to go to the girls' locker room, which is on the other side to this, I think. Yeah, so I need to put out the fire here and go around. Probably. I guess we'll find out. How do I equip the fire extinguisher, do you think? Maybe a stand near a fire? Doesn't look like it! That's not the right thing! I don't know how to equip it! Why is nothing working? Maybe it's the wrong one? I don't know, I'll try the other side, alright? Where the fuck is she? Oh, okay, there she is. She's having a lovely time. I think it's doors locked, though. Oh, no. Alright, maybe I'm wrong. Girls' locker room, which one is it? That's the toilets, it's different to the locker rooms. Okay. I guess we're using the fire extinguisher maybe here. <laughs> Holy shit! Get the fire extinguisher out, you fuck! I don't know what to do. Oh, there we go. I had to get up a prompt. <laughs> She's gonna kill me from behind, I think. What? It's gone! Alright, I need to heal. Alright, healing items. Uh, just use some soy milk, okay? Uh, then, what do I need to do? Uh, now that the fire extinguisher is here, I need to go to the boys' looker room on the other side. Is there anything else in here? She doesn't seem to be following me. There's something in here, I want this, whatever it is. Oh, a heal. Yes. I definitely want that. You can only use certain types of fire extinguishers on certain fires is the problem here. And I don't know really know what the difference is between any of them, you know? The boys look the rooms down here. Quick time. Yeah. I'm not sure this building was up to code if it could go like, catch fire so rapidly. You know? Like, I'm not an expert on fires, but I'm pretty sure they're not meant to spread this fast in a fire sound building. I think this is magic fire. Oh, the worst kind. Yeah. Alright. Now we go to the back to the main hall and put out the fire there to get the valve in the main hall. There's a valve somewhere in here. But I don't entirely know where it is, which is the problem. But we've got to find the place to put it out somewhere. Maybe here? I don't know. We've got to dodge the boss, obviously, while we're doing it, because... Uh, she isn't annoying enough as it is. Here we go. She's going to get me from behind the bed. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Yep, she's here, she's here. Well, that was close. She stabbed me, by the way. I don't know if she's still trying to stab me during this cutscene. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need to get some distance away and fight around, okay? Uh, heal. I keep forgetting how to do anything in this game. 
Can I put this fire out? Yes. She's gonna stab me while I'm doing it, isn't she? I'm dead. Woo! No, I'm not! <laughs> Alright. Okay. I can't really run it that far away is the problem I have here. Where the fuck is she? Come on! I hate you so much, by the way. Just, this is all your fault. Alright? I mean, it literally is all your fault. All these problems. Why couldn't you deal with the kid's death better, alright? Alright. We're doing alright now, okay? We've got a valve, I think, in here. Yes. I've got to try and make it round her now, though. Alright, where the fuck does this fucking valve go? I don't know. That's the next question. The bum question. Cut. Yes, this is it. Baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so you're just being silly. I was actually just being silly there. <laughs> Get fucked. I hate her so much. Alright, I mustn't pick up the thing she drops until I check on So Young. Okay. If we fucked up, by the way, guys, the game's about to end. <laughs> but if we haven't, we'll see. So young, there she is. Oh my god. Well, you had a nice nap? <sighs> Not young. Who the fuck is Na Young? Her sister, probably. Oh, yeah. I saw my sister. I forgot about this complete Her story. Soul crying in agony. It's trapped inside the school. Heeman, you must free them. All the dead souls trapped here. You must. Right, okay. She's still lying down? Oh, she's just, like crouching. Alright. You ready? We've never done this bit before, guys. It's probably gonna be mega bullshit. <laughs> Can you remember the order of things we picked them up in, by the way? Because I fucking can't, and no. we need to know that. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Well, we're gonna have to wing it and see what happens. Sonom. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Well, why don't you save before? Save, that? yeah. I don't save all the over the other one. Yeah. <laughs> the other one. Oh I wait, 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 wait. Yes. Get 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 dr food and drink. Yeah. Oh god, I fucking forgot I have to do this <laughs> properly. I drank it. No one can. <laughs> yes. Stop it. <laughs> Exit out. Exit out. Don't drink it. <laughs> I'm gonna spend all my money, okay? Well, yeah. There's not much, much hold. Not much point holding on to it. So, if you could buy something from a vending machine, what would you buy, Daddy? Not soy milk. No, I don't really like soy milk. It's pretty gross. Mm. I'd like to try one of those, like, like ramen vending machines in Japan. Mm. You know, where they heat it all up for you and everything inside the machine. Yeah, those, those look interesting. And they serve up... I saw, like, a, a pizza vending machine the other day on, on, on TikTok. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit sus about the fresh food vending machines. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's fair. Alright, that's my last one. But we are stopped up on seven soy milks, alright? Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to do that every time now, if we die. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, right, you should have saved before then. Yeah, but I don't want to waste another save. Yeah. I've never been through the store before. Well, new time for everything. I didn't say that phrase right, but it's okay. Look at the sparklies, oh my god. I don't think they're so non-sparklies. 
I really thought you'd give up after one or two seals. How did it go? I think it went well. I really think that my sister's soul has passed on. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's her, right? Wow, you're such an idiot. You don't know anything at all. What's wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so fucking weird. Fun. Wonderful. You will die right here. Okay, so we have nine minutes and eight seconds, fifty-eight seconds to get through this. Find we have to find all the seals in the order we put them down, right? So fire was the last one we did, so that's the first one we take out. Hey, Nayang, it's me. Good luck. Um, it's me. To me. Because <laughs> I'm gonna fucking need it. Oh yeah, and she's chasing us by the way as well. Oh, really? Do I sound like so young? Oh, maybe because we're on the phone. Anyway, do you want to come to my house tomorrow? My mom wants to give you. Okay, I gotta say, it really annoys me when games Hello, do Mrs. subtitles, Han? but they don't put like a. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't put thought me, of their subtitles me. against us, mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't called. Which one's this? Okay, I can't do that one yet. That's like water. Well, and here is Sunga, you know? wind, I guess. What the fuck was next? Yes, my daughter's so fragile, idea. you know. I don't I'm remember either. That so, looks after her. well, here's. Okay, this one was next. It looks like it's not letting you accidentally don't take the wrong word. <laughs> yeah, I hope she isn't behind us. Why by the way. Why don't we have a dinner party with the kids sometime? All but right. I've got to try both these again now. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes! Oh my god, this is actually going really well so far. Hey, Nayan. There's five in total. <laughs> I'm always okay, we can't. That's the last one. It must be hard for you to study and stay with me all the time. It really helps me. Come on. Don't just laugh. Say something. Okay, I've got to find the last one, baby. Then go back to that one. Na Young, where are you? Quit playing and come out. Ah! Okay. This all looks the fucking same. I mean, and my stamina is running out, by the way. Fire! You probably should have uh, gotten some coffees. Mom! I'm just gonna wait a minute. Na I don't think she's here, so we can get our stamina back. All right. Mm -hmm. 
other guy. I can't remember where the other one was though in a million fucking years. Help me! Baby, I hate this! Maybe I actually hate this. I know, but you have to do Let it. Go! My daughter's in there! No. So no. Is there nothing in this whole section? Get out of the way! Please let me through! Oh, here it is. Oh. Let go of now me. you get to try to go back. <laughs> find the other one. Oh god. Do I have to find the exit after that? Oh, you might. This is where I find out there's six as well. You know what I mean? I am so fucked, babe. Right? Mom? Mom? Like, the purpose of subtitles in this entire section Mom! is just... Where are you? <laughs> I can't see anything. Stamina's running Mom. out again. Yeah, you should have taken coffee for this. I thought she was gonna be helping us. Yeah, I don't think she is. I guess she just gets me when the time limit's up. I think this might be it. Yes! Have I remembered? Where were you when I died? Don't act like you're sad. Don't pretend to be good. I did it! Oh yay! There's probably more though. I mean she's probably gonna be pissed off that we did this. I'm not sure why she let us do this. <laughs> I got a trophy for finishing it in super fast time, it looks like. My memory for, ma for mazes is good. Meanwhile, continue to say, I don't know where the fuck I am. Why? Well, I, I did it! Alright, so we can choose. There's three different endings you can get right here. Uh, we're gonna pick her, her, her up and try and save her. Obviously, we fucking went all the effort of speaking, <laughs> of speaking to her for so fucking long. We, we might be in trouble here, though. Who is that? I think that's her sister. Oh. Uh, we have to hurry. Thank you for game for giving me plenty of time. How do I pick her up? There we go. No rush or anything, dude. Take your time. Okay. Oh god, it's falling around me. Okay. We got the true ending. Okay, well... Sh Thank you. You saved me. She's like, fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. What about Ji Hyun? Let's go find her. Cop blocked by Ji Hyun. <laughs> my sister and Sung Ah were friends. I thought about my sister every day. But nobody remembered Sung Ah. She must have felt sad about that. These are the worst subtitles in human I history, you're right. Her too. Even after all the things she did for me when she was alive. Hing Min, I think that I will remember you for the rest of my life. Here we go. I'm never playing this again. <laughs> oh, 
what are your thoughts on White Day? Wait. We beat our previous record by quite a lot. Oh, okay. Is that what it's saying? Yeah, yeah, we beat it by nearly two <laughs> hours. Because I was confused, record. it's just like, best time, two hours longer than what we played. Yeah. Um, okay, here's the thing. The concept yes. could have been fine if it wasn't so obnoxious. <laughs> Everything about this game is a challenge and a chore to do. It's not even like a fun challenge. Um, like the janitor is absolute garbage bullshit. And uh, I know you have to look at something when you're playing it for work like we do and someone who'd play it by themselves. Because obviously people who make games usually make it with the normal person in mind. The normal person who's gonna be playing the game, not like a person who does this for a living. Yeah. But I feel like even if I was a normal person playing this game with more theoretical time to dedicate to games, as an adult, I still wouldn't have that much time because I'd have to go to like an average fucking job. C can you imagine trying to get all 15 endings? Well, I don't think the average person would go for all the 15 endings, to be That's fair. That's true. That is true. But I wouldn't even want to replay it because the story wasn't that strong. And the puzzles weren't engaging. They were just annoying. And then the, ja <laughs> and then the janitor. Really awful. And then the janitor is just obnoxious. <laughs> he isn't scary. He's just annoying. He's not scary scary at all. The only reason we jumped were jump scares of the janitor, and the only reason we cared is because we have a timeline to finish this. <laughs> so we feared the act of wasting another couple hours doing this <laughs> rather than actually being scared of a murdering <laughs> psychopath. I also, I do want to say that this so the original game of this is from 2001. Okay. And this is a direct port of it, pretty much. So there's perhaps reasons it hasn't aged too well, you know? I can be a bit, you know, generous and say that. But I do feel for this like remaster, which, by the way, this remaster improves on a lot of things, like, in terms of, like, the, the visuals and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. they, they probably could have made some quality of life improvements amongst all the other stuff, but they didn't re They chose not to. Also, I don't know why... But I don't know why there was... This is a horror game, and we saw, like, two ghosts. You can, uh, the ghosts are only on hard mode. But that's dumb. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a haunted school. Why am I only... Si why is the biggest fucking monster the janitor? There's, like... There's, like... If you if you play on hard what? mode, no, 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 there's, no, no, like, no, no, 30 no. ghosts in no, I don't care. I don't care. I should see more than two ghosts. That is true. If it's based on RNG, the RNG should be tuned that I see more ghosts. I don't... I'm not asking for more lethal ghosts. I just want some ghosts. I want some spooky dookie in my spooky dookie game. The spooky dookiest thing was the goddamn janitor, and that was only because I was afraid of losing progress. That's it. It's a, it's a pretty obnoxious game to play, but we got through it, guys. And we hope you enjoyed. And we hope you dealt with our whining, because we did whine a little bit. I'm going to trim out a lot of the whining so we sound like absolutely lovely people all the time. <laughs> uh, secondly, guys, uh, this was voted for by our patrons, so thank you very much, guys. I say thank you, I, I don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> but the next vote is Silent Hill Homecoming, uh, and that is coming uh, shortly. We'll be working on that very soon. Uh, the, next, the next voted for. Not the, the next voted for. The ne not the next video. You can't not. choose which Silent Hill. It's already been decided. Yeah, That's we're playing Silent Hill Homecoming next. The next after that, we already decided on today as well, by the way, is, uh, is, is Bullet Witch. Oh my god. Which I, don't I know, know nothing what, about. I have no idea what that is. It's a 360 exclusive from years ago. Well, that's what we're going to be playing. So yeah. Anyway. White Day. That was it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Patreon so you can nominate and vote for games and make us suffer. See you guys later. <laughs>